coming to YouTube. Don't miss WDW News Tonight's Sci-Fi Live-In Special. See the horror of liquid magic. Special guest appearance by Kornak the Magnificent. See the unmitigated terror of who wants to win a lot of core bucks. And more next week, Thursday, May 5th at 9 p.m. Eastern on WDW News Tonight's Sci-Fi Live-In Special. Be there. This precious park of mine I'm left behind Wondering if I should follow You had to go Walt always said this would be fine I probably could catch up with you tomorrow But is this what it feels like To be lost and afraid there's construction walls everywhere in this place is a maze. Now I turn around and find I am lost in Epcot. West is east. Where am I and where's Mouse Gear? Oh, you had the map and now I'm lost in Epcot. And where is the wonders of life? I could swear it was here. What? They closed it? When did that happen? Up till now, my last visit was 10 years ago. And I could swear there was this beautiful fountain. Now it's gone. Oh, it's a hole in the ground. And where's the film that had Michael Jack? COVID restrictions are gone from Beauty and the Beast live on stage, so get ready for the return of Gaston spitting in the crowd. <laughs> Can't wait. Everyone has to make like a tree thing and he spits through it. Okay, that's the birch. <laughs> Tokyo Disneyland is knocking down Space Mountain and building a new one. Meanwhile, at Disneyland, the People Mover track has been there for 20 years. <laughs> Empty. The Disney stock price continues to plummet. In fact, I would say it has stooped to a new low. <laughs> You've read WW News Today, now it's time for WW News Tonight! Live from WDWNT Celebration near the Walt Disney World Resort, it's WDW News Tonight with Tom Corliss and Nicholas Cicero. Tonight, we level all of the resort hotels at Walt Disney World, Florida Man talks about Reedy Creek drama, and more. I'm Niccolo Cicero. Now, here's your host, Tom Corliss! Oh, 
Hello, I'm Tom Corliss, and I am the hocus to Nick's pocus. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and if you're really enjoying this nonsense, you can leave us a super chat right here on YouTube. Your donations will be used to protest celebrating Halloween in April. Nice. Someone has to draw a line here, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Line must be drawn. Anyway. Oh, boy. Well, yeah. you know, Tom, I don't want to get, I don't want you to get too far because I have a little surprise for you, actually. Oh, oh boy. Tonight. So, All right. Um, this week, I was driving around Celebration in my maxi van like one does, and... And, and I stopped outside the AMC, and I noticed this character start kind of walking up to the van. And, oh and, and, and he was like, do you have a cigarette? And I was like, hey, aren't you Toodles? Toodles? Yeah, Toodles from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Why am I not surprised that you would know something from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? Who wouldn't recognize Toodles? So, you know, we start talking, and we get into this thing, and you know, I'm like, Toodles, what are you doing here? And, and, and Toodles, you know, when's this long story, uh, you know, he, he's been out of work, he's down on his luck, and, and you know, long story short, Tom, I, I said, you know what, we might have an opportunity for you. We need some help around this show. So I invited Toodles to the studio tonight. Yeah. Oh, Toodles! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a cigarette in your mouth? Ah. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, thanks nope. for being here, Toodles. Well, thanks for having me. And I've heard you guys could use all the help you could get. So we're going to go ahead and cut right to it and get down to the Corliss Doer. I don't like the name oh, of Oh, I changed it uh, no. for the show. No, yes. we could go back to the old name. Corliss Fine. Tools! <laughs> corliss Tools, Corliss Tools, You're Corliss saying Cordless Tools? Tools! No, Corliss, like your last name. Oh, because Cordless Here Tools are also a thing. Are your Corliss <laughs> Tools? <laughs> Couldn't We've afford got the music. A rope, a ladder, <laughs> a rope or cord that can hold up to 300 pounds. A ceiling fan All right. that can also hold up to no. 300 pounds. Please stop. And our mystery tool. Uh, all right. All right. That's a all surprise right. tool. No, it's, it's not that big a surprise. Point. Nope. All right. Where and you... you have me, Toodles. So Nick, what did I tell point, you about bringing you, people in off the street? This is a great idea, me, Tom. If you need me, just yell out. Oh, Toodles! I don't see that happening. Thank you, Toodles. All right. Toodles, everybody. Oh, my goodness. What are you, what are you doing just, to me? Let's just see. Let's see. What are you doing to me? Let's see, let's see what happens. All right. Yeah, pick up the cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford more of those. Now the news. news. Brought to you by the WDW and the Interglobe Society. If anyone's still watching at this point. Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party is returning to the Magic Kingdom this fall. And I, fall, I mean August. Uh, during the resort's 50th anniversary celebration, uh, which, of course, is fitting, as the 50th celebration is already mostly dead at this point. So, you know, <laughs> too close to home. People are like, oh, oh. The event will take place over 37 select nights beginning August 12th. Man, how soon until this and food and wine both start in July? We're just going to get to that. <laughs> right. You're like racing. Uh, Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade will return, uh, likely with half the performers. Yeah, so the gravediggers apologize in advance, but your plots will only be three feet deep this year. <laughs> they just don't have enough time to get all the way down. I guess we'll, guess we'll also receive a reusable trick-or-treat bag featuring a keepsake 50th anniversary celebration and Halloween design. So for those of you that were hoping to have ads for Disney Plus shows on your bag, I'm sorry, this year, <laughs> if to settle for theming. Oh, wow. Well. Of course, you could join the Sanderson sisters during the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular show at the castle as they call upon their frightening colleagues to conjure the ultimate Hocus Pocus party potion. Hmm. And it's all fun and games, of course, until Nick shows up and drops something into the cauldron that no one expects. <laughs> <laughs> no one's looking. He's, bloop. 
Overlays, a uh, theme for the occasion, will return to several Magic Kingdom attractions. There's Space Mountain, Mad Tea Party, Pirates of the Caribbean, Monsters, Inc., Laugh Floor, but new for this year, Tron Light Cycle Run will have guests careening through an abandoned construction site Ooh. and passing, uh, passing a ghost locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That's not, that's not good. Uh, Jake, I think we lost uh, the lights. Can we get that fixed? Tom, I, I think I know what to do. No. Let, let, let's yell, old toodles, no, right? No, let's come, not. Come on, audience. Come on, audience, <laughs> with me. On three. One, two, three. Oh, toodles. Why is everyone participating? <laughs> Are you smoking again? No. I just, I just wasn't expecting you to need me this soon. The, the mini fine. fridge let me boom one. I just, you guys are really a hot mess on this show. You know, this isn't something that normally happens. Again, usually it's the audio, not the, not the lights. So how does this work? Do we, need, do we need something from you? You give us a tool or something well, to fix the lights? Normally I'd go over a recap, but seeing how I just did that five minutes ago, <laughs> we'll just go a quick recap. Ladder, rope, ceiling fan, and, and a mystery tool. Well, we definitely don't need the mystery tool. <laughs> So let's skip yeah. that one. Now, normally, no, I would... no, <laughs> no, <laughs> not that one. That's not going to fix the lights. You're right. This time, it's going to be a ladder. Oh, okay. Okay. A ladder. All right. Do we have a ladder? We have a ladder. Yeah. I'll, I'll a go ladder up there, here. Tom. You want me to you want me to take care of this? I love climbing things. So. Oh, this is. I have a yeah. bad feeling about it. <laughs> I've done this before, Tom. We got this. Jake showed me how. Ah, ooh, ooh, whoa. Everything all right up there? Yeah, just, uh, whoa. Duck. Yeah. That's should. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I That's just kind of hit my finger, but I think we're good. Uh, we got this fixed. Uh, you know, Tom, there's a lot of room up here in this rotunda. It really creates quite the echo. Echo, 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 echo. Hear that, Tom? It's really good effect up here. I hear it. Yeah. We'll just keep playing that over and over. Tonight. So, I think, I think we got this fixed. I'm going to... Well. Come down. Should come down. Yeah, we'll get on with the show. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Good lighter. Yeah. Oh, you want? Oh, the ladder in the shot. Down with the show, Tom. Minnie Mouse, Daisy Duck, and Clarabelle Cow will dress up as the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus on Disney Cruise Line. Yeah, them and every other woman on the boat, you're not special. It's all it's everyone. Everyone now. Want to play Worst Joke again? Go for it. <laughs> nice joke. <laughs> the official logo for the new Haunted Mansion film was released, and it looks like a sea parody movie logo that Tyler made. <laughs> I think it's actually just from our ad. I think they just <laughs> took it. In this mysterious adventure, a doctor and her nine-year-old son looking to start a new life move into a strangely affordable mansion in New Orleans, only to discover that the place is much more than they bargained for. In fact, the house is mysteriously flanked on either side by mountains, one with a runaway mine train and another with a waterfall and talking animals. <laughs> it's really strange. It's definitely haunted, you can tell. Haunted Mansion will be released in theaters March 10th, 2023, just in time for the start of Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. <laughs> Enjoy. Disney's Magnolia Golf Course will be dropping down to just nine holes instead of 18 for a short period. Uh, meanwhile, at the Magic Kingdom, the Jungle Cruise boats are also dropping down from 18 holes in the hole to just nine. <laughs> That's good. They're Safety, a, little more, yeah. a little more buoyant than they've been. That's good to hear. As of late. Terry Crews has been revealed to play a role in Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. He plays Centurion Tal Marek, 
commander of the Star Charter and an advisor to Nova Prime. And in the pre-show, he'll tell everybody safety information, and then about the attraction sponsor, Old Spice. <laughs> Did the Old Spice commercials. I knew that wasn't going to go over well. I said, I don't know if people remember that. I don't remember it. It's all right. Hey, you know what time it is, Nick? What? It's time to talk about the Reedy Creek Improvement Ooh. District. Let's, oh right. no, oh, Bob. <laughs> oh, poor Bob. Bob's a little sweaty about this Reedy Creek thing. Maybe we can help him out. <laughs> no, please. Oh, Even the crowd said no. Oh, doodles. It's bad when the crowd is against the bin. It's not, it's not good. To doodles, do we have a tool that can help cool Bob off? No, we should, it's, it's not, fine. whatever oh, that fan. is, we're not interested in it. It's the fan? fan? The fan? Okay, I guess we're doing the fan. All right. That works. I'm not sure how much longer that clip goes on for. I don't know. Should have told Tyler, it's like last day, just like, we need eight minutes. <laughs> eight minutes of that fan blowing sweat off of his. Please export that. Uh, at a Democratic National Committee fundraiser uh, last Thursday, President Joe Biden spoke briefly about the ongoing clash between Disney and the Florida legislature. And the president said, quote, it's mean, it's ugly, it's the way. Look what's happening down in Florida. And that, of course, was just him talking about the park pass reservation system. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. The Paradise Pier Hotel is being transformed into a Pixar-themed hotel. In fact, all the bathrooms will be themed to Turning Red. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> really, that's... There's been an outline of something we can't say, but that's the joke that went over the line. All right. Good to know. Goofy. <laughs> Goofy with a surfboard will be replaced with a giant Luxo lamp on a ball, and above will be mobiles of, of Pixar characters, and those will be used to keep Bob Chapek occupied. <laughs> <laughs> of course, at Disneyland Resort, there's no Magical Express um, to get you from the airport to the hotel, but guess we'll be able to take Heimlich's choo-choo train. <laughs> we'll pick you up at LAX, just get in. <laughs> That'd be fun. Going down the do five it. in Heimlich. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that was. I have no idea what that was. Anyway, who brings that means it's time to end the monologue is what that means. Who brings us the news? This program is brought to you by Wigs, the WDWNT Interglobe Society. Support WDWNT to get early and exclusive access to content you can't find anywhere else, including exclusive post shows for WDW News Tonight and Park Center. Exclusive programs including our retro riffing show, Ride Rehab Watches, bonus episodes of Club 22, and a monthly Zoom with Tom access to our Discord community, and much more, starting at just $2 a month. For more information, visit patreon.com slash WDWNT or visit WDWNT.com and click the Patreon link. Join Wigs and unlock even more WDWNT. Thank you, disembodied voice. Thank you. Uh, we have a great show for you tonight. Florida man, Haymaker's going to be here. He wants to talk about... This Reedy Creek thing that's going on, obviously being the Florida man, it affects sure. him greatly. It does. Yeah. Um, as well tonight, Leveled is back. About uh, that. And we are going to rank all of the Walt Disney World Resort hotels, and there are a lot of them. Um, so for that only sure takes two are. hours. So just stay tuned, everybody, for that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we'll be back with more tonight. Stick around. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Cause you haven't even noticed And how pretty is It's too late to fix anything Now that everything has gone wrong Thanks to JPEG Naughty JPEG It's been JPEG all along And it wasn't on purpose But I killed the Reedy Creek Improvement District there's nothing really to laugh about with this one. Hi, I'm Tyler Mann. You don't know me. I've been a graphic designer here at WDWNT for the past four years. In fact, I work on all the comedy commercials and graphics for WDW News Tonight. It's my last few episodes working here, though. And before I leave, I figured I'd like to go out with a big bang. Graphics Time with Tyler, a retrospective on four years of parody songs, comedy commercials, photo edits, cartoons, and much more. Join me and a panel of awesome people for a night of memories and frustrations. And this time, no one can interrupt the show like they did the past two times. We're going to uh, take a break because we're going to be bringing you live footage from Disney Springs. Oh, okay. Okay, boys, your show is over. Say your bye-bye. It's over. Oh. Graphics Time with Tyler, Saturday, April 30th on Unplanned Downtime. What's Unplanned Downtime? It's that channel you're not subscribed to. Seriously, you're missing all of these great shows. Graphics Time with Tyler, Saturday, April 30th at 7 p.m. See you there, or not. I know a lot of you don't like me. Welcome back to News Tonight. Let's find out what's happening this week on Disney+. Plus. Uh, it's the sting. <laughs> Catch those housekeepers. We can't have everybody read that story. Uh, that's a good one. Um, in fact, there's, it hasn't been posted yet, but there's another one. <laughs> they caught another person. But anyway, I take credit. That's oh, ridiculous. Hey. How ridiculous. Things are ridiculous. They are, they are. Yeah. Tom, I'm a little worried. I, I think you're getting a little hangry over there. I and, and we can't have you angry going into this panel discussion, you know, with like Riviera and Grand Destino in there and the other things I can't pronounce. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm hangry. That's yeah, yeah, I, there bit. would be something to eat, bit. but on the post show last week everyone took the remaining food. Lauren's leaving. I can't go to a store myself. I don't know how. <laughs> what am, what am I supposed to eat? I'm thinking maybe Toodles has a tool. Oh, please, this has to end. Well, we, we don't even know what the mystery item is. I have some idea. Oh, all right. Well, you know, let's, let's just maybe we should bring him on and, and get a hint on what the mystery tool is. Right, audience? Right, audience? Come on. Toodles! 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 All right, come on. On three. On three. Oh, he's already here. We already got to Toodles! I can't anymore. Hey, everyone. Hey, Toodles. Um, you know, do you... We're, we're having a little problem with Tom over here. No, we're not. We're not sure if any of your tools can help. Um, can we get a hint on what that mystery tool is? No. Oh, sure thing, Nick. The mystery tool is comprised of two small round objects and one long, slightly oh. curved one. All right. All right, no. Most people like that no. one firm. No. And the small ones, if you squeeze them hard enough, but not too hard, liquid comes out. Uh, it's uh, so excuse tasty. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can we please stop? What? Tom, he said they're tasty. <laughs> Nick, please don't encourage me. Maybe about that. if I knew what the problem was, maybe I could choose for you. Well, well, Toodles, Tom is hangry and he needs something to eat. Then the mystery tool is perfect! 
In fact, it's very satisfying. I ate one earlier before having a cigarette. All right. <laughs> no. Come on, we can't. No. Tom Toodles is on the children's show. Come on. You, you've you seen the shape of the mystery item. I, I have, but it can't be bad. Come on, children's I, show. Children, yeah, Pee Wee Herman was on a children's show. Oh. Oh. Someone uh, remembers. You know what? We choose the mystery tool. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No. 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 Thanks, Toodles. And you're right, I think he was hangry. Yeah. All he kept saying was no. <laughs> <laughs> See, Tom, very helpful. I think we should keep Toodles around at least another couple of weeks. Come on. This is the dumbest show. Look at that. <laughs> the dumbest, what is this? The <laughs> banana. <laughs> oh, speaking of the dumbest show, it seems to be his cue. He has no legs. <laughs> Nick, move over for Florida. Uh, man. Hey, hey, Florida man, how you doing? Oh, yeah, thanks. I'll trade you one. Right? There you go. Oh, uh, now you're talking. <laughs> you're Florida man, right? <laughs> this is all we have in my house. Let me tell you. How you now doing? Now this is this is what uh, Lance Armstrong had before he did the Tour de France. No, one, yeah. Never mind. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's that's where we draw the line. Jeez. Well, how's it going today? It's going. You been all right, man? No. <laughs> you seem a little angry. What is the natural light? Natural yeah. light. Come on, Tom, join in. I've never Manna had, from heaven. I've never had one of those before. I might need it after the last half hour. Here y'all go. Nick? Good old, good old Natty Ice, yeah. Natty Ice. Natty Nick's Ice. here for a long time. Oh, it's yeah. actually not bad. <sighs> not too bad. It's not too bad. I'll ask so, you about it a little later. So there's some crazy stuff going on in the state of Florida right now. And this show's already going poorly, so let's talk about it. So, <laughs> All right. So it all goes back to Disney donated money to all these sponsors of the We Don't Talk About Bruno Bill. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but, yeah. It's probably better, better off if you said that, yes. You like my beard tonight? Mm -hmm. I, I did. I, I understand that with Lauren gone, we can't. No one can order mustaches anymore, so we're just. You know, I, we're I, just growing them now. I ran into my old first grade teacher a little earlier today, and he groomed me. Okay, I like it. So back to the. <laughs> how much this alcohol count is? This this is not nearly high enough for tonight. <laughs> All right. Anyway, the lawmakers and. Lawmakers of Florida, we all know Florida's got a great educational system. I, I myself am a product of the Florida public educational system, and I know their main mission is to leave people as ill-equipped as possible to deal with society at large, right? Sure. <laughs> well, I mean... How does this fit? When, how does this fit into all this? All right, so they pass a bill... People didn't like it. Disney. Well, some people, Bob Chapek liked it because he donated. They didn't like it. Then he apologized. Then he, I don't know. It, it all went crazy. And then they got this whole Reedy Creek thing. Now, don't get confused about this because a lot of people do. Like, because I grew up on Disney property, as you know, because I, right. I was born River Country, right? <laughs> born, yeah. It was a good water slide back in the day, and that was my birthplace. Also, uh, first, as you know, first person ever conceived and born in the same spot on Disney property. I think that's where people got the idea for the water birth, right? Like that was. So you you never know. Maybe my yeah. parents were hippies, and I never knew about it. I don't really know. Uh, anyway, this all goes back. They had this whole thing. But when I was a kid, there wasn't even no schoolhouse on property to go to. So we just went to school in the woods. So, like, I go math class, I go over to Matthew Creek, reading class, I go over to Reedy Creek. And that's a totally different thing than the Reedy Creek Improvement District, right? So, the Reedy Creek Improvement District is like kind of a city. So, they go around, they take down old haymakers' uh, tree stands that he has around the property. You know, except a couple I sold to some rich people from California for 600 grand that were trying to move here. You know how that goes. And, uh, and you know, they stopped Haymaker from fishing in the water treatment plant. So the fish I was catching used to be like this big, now like this big, you know. I mean, I guess you can see how this goes. Then they stopped old Haymaker from living on uh, that, 
the tropical paradise that you know as Discovery Island. <laughs> People keep trying to live there, man. I don't know. Yeah, so this yeah. goes on and on, and I, I don't really know what's going to happen. But there's the, the main thing is, for me is them parking garage at Disney Springs, they're owned and operated by Reedy Creek. Yeah. Uh, this is a concern for old Haymaker because, uh, well, Haymaker's got a daughter. Her name is Strawberry Surface Lot, and I ain't sure... <laughs> I ain't sure if Strawberry Surface Lot is like them garages where it's all part of Reedy Creek. Which county does she belong to? We don't know. <laughs> we don't really know about yeah, that we'll either, right? Yeah, find out. I mean, it's, it's all confusing right now. You know, yeah. I'm just, really, we're all kind of lucky that I dodged a few bullets there and I don't have a lime, a grapefruit, or an a orange child. <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, God, you mean garage. Let's no, clarify. a child. No, yeah. well, you know, no, I could... They got them garages. I'm just saying I never had a child that was mm. conceived in one of them, so I don't have a child named after just, one of them. Just the surface lot. But then, you know, they got this bond thing, right? And they're saying, oh, yeah. well, the state of Florida is going to have to pay off the bonds. So if I did have kids that might be part of Reedy Creek, maybe they'd get their college or, you know, beauty school or whatever paid for for free. Uh, I know my son, Admiral uh, Joe Fowler, is really interested to find out <laughs> about this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, you know what? If it brings down the axe on Bob Chapek, it's all good with old Haymaker, if you ask me. So what do you think is going to happen? I don't know. I mean, uh, maybe Elon Musk going by it? I don't know. Elon <laughs> Musk, that's my, my wife's favorite cologne, by the way. <laughs> is he? <Elon? laughs> yeah. It's right up there. You know, I could hang out here and talk about this all day, but I just found out something. Mountain Dew has a new alcoholic beverage for sale these days. Do they? Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check that out and get on out of here. I don't get know out if it's going to be. I know you got a lot of news this to report to people. This is 5.9%. What's the Mountain Dew percent? I, I don't know. know. Put it in the chat if you find out, because a whole, whole haymaker's on his way to the nearest uh, Winn-Dixie or <laughs> a good, They don't your, got no goodings anymore. Just they send your oldest, your oldest kid could buy alcohol. Swan Boat. Swan Boat and Skyway yeah. Bucket. They're twins. <laughs> yeah. yeah, one of them ought to be able to go get it for me. I don't know. <laughs> It's weird you didn't know which ride it was. They put both of them that day. <laughs> yeah, it, you know what? I don't have a stopwatch on me at all I times. Just, I, don't, I don't know what it was. Like hey, I think you're going to need that orange back. No, you want me to take that? No, you should. You, should, you need all your strength. <laughs> all right, I'll put an orange in the beer and uh, take this one with there me. I'll, I'll, I'll bring back some Mountain Dew a little bit later for you. Great, thank you. All right. Hey, Maker, let me see. I'm going to. That went well. I'm going to drink the rest of this. Yep. We'll be back with more, maybe, tonight. Let's see what happens. For you, we created this dream flight, the most wonderful flight of your life. Once you've taken a Delta dream flight, you'll see dreams in a different light. This decade, get ready for a brand new universe of adventure as Disney Pictures proudly presents the SEACU, the Society of Explorers and Adventurers Cinematic Universe, a new series of films centered around the fictional society across multiple Disney parks. First, find out the origins of Figment in his first film, Figment. Then, join Dreamfinder and Figment on a new adventure in Dreamfinder and Figment before their third film, Journey into Imagination, with Dreamfinder and Figment. Next, discover the mysteries of Mystic Manor in Mystic Manor. And then Albert opens up a box of tricks in Mystic Manor 2. Now museum, now you don't. Then the first of the Disney Springs series. Watch Meriwether Pleasure build his empire in Disney Springs Pleasure Island. Then, march along with the adventurers in Disney Springs, the Adventurers Club, until that project ends up being canceled for Disney Springs, the Edison. And that's just the beginning. With over 40 films planned, we promise that none of these movies will be repetitive, and we definitely won't make spin-off television series from any characters that we kill off. Also, nobody is gay. Disney Society of Explorers and Adventures Cinematic Universe coming in 2022 and 2023 and another in 2023 and 2024 and two or three every year until you die.
Wait. It says eat. It's a diaper. This tastes bad. This candle tastes funny. Mm -mm, I'm, I'm gonna eat it. Not bad, but funny. And thanks to Tony's, we don't even know what food is anymore. This <laughs> isn't food. <laughs> we can't eat most of this. Yeah, we can't eat any of this. That bag's a liar. Yeah, I just got so excited. Sock em boppers, sock em boppers. You can sock all day and pop all night. Sock em boppers, sock em boppers. Bop your friends and it's all right. Blow them up, put your hand in. edition sock em boppers the best way to beat up other guests without getting trespassed Zeke and Zam and Ted and friend of our name Tennessee Zeke's twang on banjo and a tapping with his feet a banging on a dish pan with a real old country beat Hi, I'm a Walt Disney World graphic designer. Thank you so much to WDW News Tonight for having me. I regret to say that I'm incredibly busy and I can only spare a few minutes, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's Disney. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> I can't leave. <laughs> As a, uh, as a graphic designer, I'm responsible for all the uh, visuals and signage you see around the park, from signs directing you where to go, to paintings on the wall, and attraction logos. Uh, I'm proud now to present some of the work I've made. Uh, here's a sign for the opening day of Space 220. As you can see, we had to modify the physical print of this one quite a bit. Uh, here's a graphic I did for one of the walls in Toy Story Land. It's pretty much just one corner of a cloud in, on the wallpaper in Andy's bedroom. Um, here's a sign we made telling people not to feed the ducks. And here's a sign we made for TikTokers. Yep. Uh, we needed to make sure people were wearing their masks, so we, uh, we made this graphic. And uh, people didn't get it, so we changed the wording. And that didn't work either, so we made the thing in all caps. Uh, and then even that didn't work, so we removed words to make it easier to understand. And eventually we settled on this themed design. Uh, here's the original artwork for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And here's the final version after they made me put on a brown filter. That's disappointing. Uh, lightning Lane, Lightning Lane. Uh, there's a lot of these. We had to replace over 60 Fast Pass graphics. Um, for the Play Pavilion, we mocked up a few different nods to the original Wonders of Life attraction. So this is going to be a fictional storefront inside the Play Pavilion. Uh, lightning Lane, Lightning Lane, Lightning Lane, Lightning Lane. Light you get the idea. Uh, thank you so much to WDW News Tonight for allowing me the time to share my graphics with all of you. And uh, my boss is telling me if I don't stop talking to you right now, he's going to make me move to Lake Nona. So uh, I'm just going to go now. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. There you go. Let's find out the Disney Parks incorrect fact of the week. Uh, the Connections Cafe and Eatery gets its name for all of the connecting flights you can catch there. You know, with the plane there, it really does look like an airport. It really I gotta, does. I gotta say, I don't see it when I walk in, but that graphic, that's, that solidifies it, yeah. How about, what, what can we buy this week at our local supermarket? A uh, bunch of hunch. Nope. Cool. What? Cool. Cool. You brought, you brought a delinquent 
robotic mouse head into, into your tonight and that, and you have a problem with All right, punch look, it, the lights would still be out if not for... Uh, it might be a positive. Yeah, if not for Toodles. Point. Uh, Have you Bob seen would, the show tonight? Bob would still be sweating, if not for Toodles. Mm. You'd still be hungry. I have not if eaten. Not, where'd the other Haymaker orange go? Haymaker took the other uh, orange, so I have one orange and a yeah. banana left. Yeah. Gave me a banana in the cube before. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, Carousel Products has a shirt that is available right now where 100% of the proceeds go to the Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund, which is a great cause. Uh, and it's celebrating Rebecca, the male black swan, our, our lost feathered friend. Um, and I know some people actually here tonight said they wore this on Earth Day to Animal Kingdom, and a lot of the cast members are really excited about it. So it's great. So not only is it really cool to wear to the park, you're also helping, uh, you know, uh, all these great creatures and great places. So pick up your shirt, carouselproducts.com. Again, all proceeds, we don't make a cent on this. All proceeds go to the Worldwide Conservation Fund. Um, the other thing I want to talk about real quick, registration is open for the WDWNT 15th anniversary event, which will happen right here at WDWNT Celebration, and that is coming your way in July. In fact, that is going to be July 7th uh, through the 10th, and a very special three-hour WDW News Tonight is going to kick that all off on July 7th. Again, in order to attend that News Tonight, you can only uh, attend that through registration for the 15th anniversary event, which, which will include four days of really fun stuff, including some stuff you won't be able to see at home. There, in fact, will be uh, something we're calling Tom Unplugged. We're going to make people put their phones away. We're going to get those little sealable bags, and we're going to tell some stories that we are not allowed to tell on the air. I'll um, keep the phones in the maxi van. Yes, be safe. please. Please. And a lot of other great stuff. We're going to bring back uh, some, some former team members. Obviously, team members are still with us, yeah. uh, and, and tell some stories, have uh, make some memories, and, and of course, There'll be surprises along the way. So again, registration is open. Wigs members, of course, get a discount. And that is July 7th through the 10th, right here at WDWNT Celebration. Uh, let's see what's coming up on the show uh, the next few weeks. Obviously, July, July 7th, a couple weeks away. Uh, next week is our Sci-Fi Live In special, a celebration of the most beloved restaurant in all of Walt Disney World. Uh, you know, our themed episodes are always a lot of fun, and this one... Uh, is going to be, uh, I think, particularly fun. A lot of us are very yeah. passionate about sci-fi, and I think it's going to show. Very excited. Uh, then on May 12th, the Pyramid is back. On May 19th, we've added this show just recently. May 19th, there is now a show, and Card Parks will be on that episode. Uh, and then on May 26th, uh, we are going to celebrate five years of Pandora, the world of Avatar. Uh, there is some fun stuff on that show, including Liquid Magic, and uh, I heard the Shaman of Song is going to be here. And, what? Oh, it's going to be... Here? Yeah, that's what it says here. The Shaman of Song right. will be here. And don't forget next week, uh, obviously, Kornak, Liquid Magic. Free and Banshee who wants, Rides. Well, yeah, that. Also, Who Wants to Win a Lot of Core Bucks is next oh. week as well. We have a lot of great stuff on next week's yeah. show. But, Nick, who brings us the show each and every week? Uh, news tonight is brought to you by the Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next magical Disney trip. The best part is their services are free. Visit WDWNT.travel for details. The Vacationeer, the official travel agency of WDWNT. You know who else brings the show every week? It's, it's you, you at home. Whether you're a Wigs member or you're delivering Super Chats. So let's go over, we got some Super Chats, Jake? We got some of those? I'll try to read these. The desk is really far back this week. <laughs> I want to know how much Tom knows ahead of time and pre-approves versus how much he genuinely is surprised by everything that happens in these great bits. 50-50. It's about 50-50. Sometimes you plan things and they don't really go. Yeah. Uh, sometimes according to we plan, sometimes, sometimes we you don't. know, the character's supposed to appear on the side of your head and it doesn't show up there. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes they said, Shut up back there, Toodles. Toodles. <laughs> no one asked you, Toodles. <laughs> God. Stop yelling. Don't encourage uh. it. What else we got? What else? Well, thank you, Chuck, for the super chat. Very kind, very nice. What, what is the thing I always say? Very kind, very kind, very sweet. For the Tyler, yes, this is Tyler's last week. Although Tyler's going to hang around a bit, but. Tyler's last official week with us here. Thank you, WW Mickey. Uh, we'll miss, Ty you spelled his name wrong. We'll miss Tyler and love that uh, naughty Chapek and making sure Tom gets enough stylish shirts. Thanks for all the super chats. Get, get that in now. 
said Rosita. Thank you, Rosita. Very kind, very sweet. Uh, Eric is going to need to tip the barber that fixes that. Oh, boy. Uh, I asked him if he's going to, like, is his plan, like, tonight to just shave the rest off? Yeah. He's like, I don't know, I'm going to, where is, where is he going, Winter Haven tomorrow? Or so he's like, I yeah. might just keep it. Uh, thank you, Lady Siana. Uh, for the reimbursement of the secret items. Yeah. <laughs> did we spend, Lauren, did we spend $4.99? How much? Uh, not to quote uh, Arrested Development, but it's a, it's a banana, Michael. How much can it cost? <laughs> I, is it a ten? <laughs> banana's ten. You can tell me it's ten dollars. I believe it. I've been living at Disney World for the past fifteen <laughs> years. This might be fifteen dollars. I don't know. Uh, thank you. Uh, is that Mike? Thank you, Mike. Oh, Toodles, please bring back the. Stop laughing back there. Oh, Toodles, please bring back this week on Nintendo Switch. Honestly, the only reason I ever watched this show. That's wow. the reason. Wow. That's fantastic. We ran out of games. Yeah. I think Broadway, I think this was the last Broadway this week. Uh -huh. I don't think we have any more Broadway shows left. Actually, I think there's one next week. Next week's the last Broadway, I think. But thank you, uh, Seda Vision. Thanks for watching for a bit yeah. that we haven't done in six months. We appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know. Keep Thank you for your super chats, open. though. We absolutely appreciate it. You guys make this show happen every week. And do allow us to buy bananas and oranges that I'm not sure anyone will eat. We'll try to make sure someone takes them home. Sure. Figure that out. Nick, this show hasn't been psychotic enough yet. We have floating weird electronic devices and guys that live in the trees in Disney World. It hasn't been sure. weird or psychotic enough. I think it needs to get more psychotic. I got a few. Let's, Let's do go. it. Let's go. Comment. Walt Disney presents... stories here, Tom. And this first one might actually be Florida Man. I, I don't know. Haymaker. Uh, <laughs> guest arrested with gun hanging around his neck while ingesting bag of chalky white substance outside the Magic Kingdom. I actually think that was just the Alfredo sauce from Tony's. <laughs> I, I think that's what he was eating. Um, at he, 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 Moss 3, sure. Uh, in case people forgot, we were in Florida still. <laughs> just, just to remind you, we have to bring those stories every once in a while. Uh, Vince G222 wrote a little song. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears. Come to Disney World and face all your fears. Uh, at Goddess Dawn, where then Ron DeSantis has a strange way of celebrating the billions in new oh, taxes boy. that Floridians about to start absorbing. Wow. Yes. Uh, at Threatened Wheel wrote, was he coming from Port Orleans Resort? Right. I mean, that has, again, we had the, the, the stealing and we had the double homicide arrest. Yeah. It's, it's been oh. quite, a, quite a couple weeks over there. Yeah. Uh, at Joe Laszlo, good to see DeSantis branch out from eating paste. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, you know how the people in the comments feel. All right, and then we just got a few off of this uh, picture that you tweeted. There, uh, you tweeted this photo of a, the, that table. Connections. Yeah, yeah connections. A, and the Epcot logo table. And there's an Epcot logo on the table. Yeah. Well, some people chimed in with some comments. At JT Money 407 this looks like one of those fancy new college lounges that make up for the ast astronomical tuition. We are kind of paying an astronomical tuition right. to go to Disney World, aren't we? Uh, at Paper Shadow 22 just go to your local Starbucks or airport terminal. Same look and feel. If you want added looks, download an Ebka symbol and sit on the table, and there you go. You got a Connections Cafe. Yep. Voila. There you go. Uh, at KJ Rack, the only redeeming pick I've seen thus far, but it renews my faith in humanity. The table. Yeah. And then finally, at Round Tripper Kip wrote in, can't wait to be the 20th person to sit on it. Uh, on a 100-degree July afternoon. Yes. Wow. Same. So if you see those two circles on the top of the table, it's not from someone's coffee. No, it is not. <laughs> keep, that, keep that in mind. And there you go. We were like, I want to say something about the Connections interior. Please. I want to talk about it. Now, now, I know we're, we're going to talk about Riviera. Yep. We're going to talk about Grand Destino. Sure. I'm going to go off about these plain interiors. But as a child, I remember going to Communicore 
And I have to tell you, kids, Communicore wasn't very themed either. There was, there was carpet on the floor. Everything had wood railings that looked kind of like this. Sure. A little lighter wood grain. But that's, that's yeah. kind of, and the big open windows, right? So my, my point is, I don't like Creation Shop. I think the floor is too busy. I don't like, like the yellow streaks that go across and they covered the windows with merchandise displays. But Connections, honestly, I've been in there. I kind of like it. I like being able to look out at the park and the interior doesn't distract from me looking out at the monorail going by and these pretty pavilion buildings and sure. Spaceship Earth. And so I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I think they did a good enough job. I think, I think it, it you know, draws the attention outside, which is what you want. Yeah. But yeah. Have you been yet? No. Okay. You got to go get a liege waffle. They're pretty good. I'm on it. Pretty good. That, that, that apple pie milkshake seems like your thing. Yeah, I, I'll, yeah. I'll try it. If you guys haven't watched, uh, Jake was nice enough to come with me while we ordered every single item in the restaurant and sat there and tried it all for 40 minutes. Uh, if you want to watch it, it's here on the YouTube channel, so you find out before you go what you should get. Anyway, we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we are going to level all the hotels. It's not a demolition oh. segment. We're going to level all of the hotels at Walt Disney World when we come back. Inch by inch, intellectual property is being thrust into Epcot. Perpetuate on the fallacy that guests are being left unsatisfied by the current offerings. Now another long-standing member of the Epcot community is under threat. Recently, construction walls ensheathed a favorite rock-hard sculpture, commonly known as the Morocco Penis. It has become a lightning rod of controversy, blocked by wood. We don't know if it is being handled with care, but we here at the Epcot Erection Preservation Society want to preserve everything built around the large ball. The Morocco penis represents how we felt for other, now lost Epcot superstructures like Horizons. Current management is intent at giving the original themes of Epcot the shaft in an attempt to stroke their own egos. We as true fans know how hard on the Epcot community this has been. We must act as a prophylactic protecting the vision of Dick. Newness. So in that vein, we invite the community to have their voices heard. And please join us by using the hashtag, hashtag, Bring back the Morocco penis! For if we lose this, it will just be the tip of things to come. <laughs> Please go to social media and tag your favorite photos with the Moroccan landmark with hashtag Bring back the Morocco penis! Now, before it's already gone, bring it back! Hey there! Are you sick of eating a sandwich with two hands? Uh, no. Then why not try out Disney's handwich? What the hell is that? It's the sandwich you eat with only one hand. Okay, but it looks like dog food. Other sandwiches can be cumbersome and tricky with just one hand. Was that me? Where did you get the footage of me? So we took the best of a sandwich and put it into a small cone you can hold with one hand. Hello, police? Someone's trying to sell me something. Disney's Handwich, the sandwich of the future. Try one or don't. Yeah, that's 100% dog food. Not bad, though. Disturb the treasure of the gods and you shall all pay with your lives. Welcome back. We have a super chat, Jake. It's one we missed or came in late, I think. That's not possible, Tom. The Nintendo Switch never runs out of games. You write them then. <laughs> you keep coming up with them. I ran out of ideas. I couldn't do any more. 
And, and to show you how much we've run out of ideas for these graphics bits, let's do one more. What's debuting this week on Broadway? This week on Broadway, catch thoroughly modern interior. <laughs> oh, quiet, toodles. <laughs> See your toodles behind a wood wall. <laughs> I can't. Can't do this anymore. All right, it's time for leveled. It is about not it's not, <laughs> it's not about demolition. It's about ranking things. Obviously, joining me for the segment is Nick, and then we have our illustrious panel. We have Desi and Miss Allison and uh, Haymaker. <laughs> Eric, you under there somewhere? This ain't exactly an ensemble. You just go undo. <laughs> <laughs> If you go out like that tomorrow, you have to send us pictures of you like just Wait, out. I'm the going wild. to Polk County. I'm going to Polk County <laughs> with Axel. Oh. Oh, wow. Cool. So the way leveled works, we have we have tiers, right? We have if you will levels, mm -hmm. and what we have to do is place everything in the category into these levels. So these are hotels. So we have stars. We have five stars, right? We have one, two, three. Why are you laughing? Because I just remember the first time we did this. And it was such a mess. <laughs> you act like it's different than the first time we do anything, <laughs> or the second time, or the third time. We just had a bit where an orange or two oranges and a banana magically appeared on my desk. Sure. This, is the, this is the thing you're giggling about. So there's five levels. There are five stars, and because they're resorts, so we're going to rank them. Uh, what level does each hotel? Is it is it very bad? Is it one star? Is it kind of in the middle? Is it three stars? Is it five stars? Is it absolutely fantastic? So that's what we're going to try to decide as a panel. There is an odd number of us, so of course, majority rules. Uh, okay, is everybody ready? Hope so. Let's get started. Desi looks very unsure of this. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to start with the value resorts. <laughs> Let's start with these. Oh. We're going to start with Disney's all-star movies. Okay. Disney's all-star movies That's resorts. easy. That's a one. <laughs> you know, I don't hate the all-stars. I don't know. All of them? But, yeah. Like, you don't hate any of them? No. They're fine. But is the, is the purpose of this exercise to determine the tiers within Disney hotels or hotels at large. Because mm. as a Disney hotel, they are the lowest tier. Yeah, but I don't think that matters. I, th I, I think we want to talk about the in quality in, in, in terms of, they obviously, are terrible. price, you know, affordability is a big part of it, right? Did you, get, did you get a fair trade, right? You gave them this much money. Did you get what you paid for? I think that's important in ranking these. So obviously, that, a moderate can be five stars because... For the price you paid, you felt like you got everything and more, right? And I'm assuming we were taking everything into account, right? Like yeah, restaurants, and rooms, yeah. Um, you know, transportation, whatever. Sure. Everything well, yeah, about you're the not resort. gonna. There's no such thing. Disney doesn't have a five-star hotel. Disney no. does not ha operate a hotel in Orlando no. that has White Glove, Ritz Carlton, JW Marriott type of amenities no. and service. No, right? the Grand or doesn't Four even Seasons, close, yeah. all those, right? None of the Disney branded resorts. No. Aspire to that level. No, so we're just using the stars for our sake as the, as the levels. Yeah, just one, two, right. three, four, five. So no, I'm not asking you to tell me which hotel will they like personally escort you to the room and you know, because they don't do that anywhere, because they don't care anymore. So they used to do it. I've been escorted out of a few. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I mean, I, I'm definitely willing to discuss a two or a three. Right, like, like no, I, not a three. I think they're at least two, two at the yeah. top. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm fine with the two. I don't right. want to put them at the bottom because I don't. The I don't think they're that bad. Like, obviously, right yeah. now the values are overpriced at the moment, right? Like they're charging like two, two fifty, which is insane. But historically, like I don't know. I when they were seventy nine ninety nine a night, they were, they would be yeah. a two three star. They serve the purpose. When they're right? two fifty, they're a one star. And the they, rooms, they do I don't job. think even That's... before the rooms were bad. I, now they're, they're a little sterile, but they're, they're functional, right? They're, they're not themed, but they're functional rooms, and they're a means to an end for people that can't afford three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars $700 a night and want to stay on property, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, I think the All-Stars are a two. Are, yeah. are we ranking all yeah. All-Stars or just That's the All-Stars? Well, I mean, movies. I don't know. Do we, is there an All-Star we think is worse than the other sports. ones? No. Sports. Really? I knew people I were going to fight on sports. I, I like awful, sports. Uh, like, not just like, 
oh, this is bad for Disney. This is just bad service. It wasn't just because you didn't understand what sports were. Sports. No, I know what sports. <laughs> sports happen. I don't know too much about it, but I know what a sport is. I think there was a baseball. It was brown and oblong. No, but, it, but it's <laughs> worth pointing out, right, that your experience is going to vary because if yeah. you're there when there's. 500 cheerleading squads staying at all the all-stars and they're out there making noise all night. And that's usually sports, right? So if there's one, I like sports, but if there's one we're going to put at the bottom, it's probably sports, right? Or movies. Yeah. I like, you don't like movies. Movies is the best now, one. As much as I people. like a uh, Herbie the Love Bug, like wallpaper border <laughs> around the top of my room and a dirty old I would. Spread. I would put music below movies. I, I would give... Music a one as well. I like music and movies about the same, but I think sports is a one. That's my. Music opinion. has the caballero pool. Though, yeah, I know. Like, like because I'm thinking yeah. about like the things you could. But see movies has Fantasia, like right? That. I yeah, like that one a lot. These, these these resorts are all equal, right? They're built equally. I, I they have so. the same. People don't feel the way design. about sports, right? Because no one has an emotional the connection difference is to the decor. sports I, one, right? Well, the difference is only decor. I do. They have the same level of amenities. They have the same size rooms. It's arguable. Have, like, I've had very different food quality from food court to food court, honestly. And sometimes the variety. Sports typically has a dumbed-down menu compared to the other two. I've had some more interesting things at the other one. I don't know. I've seen some dirty bathrooms. Oh, I've seen some interesting things at the other one. <laughs> Sports, I've, like, the, 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 the restrooms, I've been, I'm like, this is kind of dirty. <laughs> like, this is not fun. Sports. Every time I had a sporting event that we ha had at the wor wide world of sports in high school, yeah. we stayed at sports. It's where all of the high school kids yeah. stay, and they trash it. They do. My favorite was when the Pop Warner kids practiced on the fake football field oh, yeah. at 12.02 at night, and me and the guy in the room next door both went outside and screamed at them. Huh. It was not a thing we talked about. Just both happened to go out at the same time and both in unison scream at the kids to please go to bed. So, so uh, sports is where all the high schoolers are? I'm going to give that one a five. I'm going to go five on that one. Duly noted. I'd like, to, I'd like to remark that Nick comes in tonight and he goes, he goes oh, it, there's not a lot of jokes about me being creepy tonight, are there? Because someone from work said they're going to watch. Yeah. And then we get to here and he's like, he's making the joke himself. I, I give sit in there. I give um, yeah. So do we? Do, do two. we? Two. It's two for movies. I'll so movies is a. T I think because the, I think the rooms are fun. I want to put movies at it too. I think the the themes of the buildings at least. I the rooms used to be different, but that's a two, right? How about music? I vote One. two. Two. I'm gonna raise my two. hand for two. 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 There's three twos. So two, two for music. Just because of the a two. Caviero. And because of because of sports groups and cheerleaders. We have to put we have to put sports as a one. They do stay at all of them. They do, but it seems like they're they definitely start at sports and then if there's overflow, move to the next two is how I feel. I don't know. Maybe yeah, the so band drop kids it. Are Jake, you can drop it in there. There we go. All right. Look at those three images, they look interchangeable yeah. from this distance. <laughs> Great. This is like rank and venereal disease. Right? Okay. <laughs> is wow. It? Wow. Oh, yeah, do you use that a thing that you... It doesn't everybody. Somebody said it's like a Nick thing. Oh. Um, art of animation. Art of animation. So this is interesting in that there, there are two room types. The Little Mermaid rooms are sort of the standard uh, value, but they are very heavily themed. But we do then have the family suites, which are in the Cars, Finding Nemo, and Lion King buildings. We have a big blue featured pool. We have quiet pools, um, we have a, a food court, we have, you just pass the out of passion beer. Oh boy. Um, what do we think, what do we think of Art of Animation? I, this has to be at least a three. Because I, I love, I love the, the, the theming at these, at these resorts. Now, I, so. Skyliner Axis. Skyliner Axis, is exactly. Which is great, except I, in the afternoon in the summer. I you know I love those the, the, those pools and how themed they are and 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 the cars hotel is just awesome. cozy you room cabanas walk down and see all that I've never stayed at any of these so if people have experiences you know let's hear them but um, I think it has to start at a three yeah I'd say a three they they have a better they have better food options and 
the All Stars, right? They've they dumbed it down. They have over a better the location, years, right? So. You remember when they opened, they They're had the newer. tandoori, the they tandoori really oven. Yeah. They had the build your own burger thing. They nuked all of that, even yeah. pre-COVID. That's not even a COVID change. That wow. is, so landscapes used to be, I used to go eat there just at random. Yeah, I just be like, I'm in the mood. They used to have pastrami burger and it was on rye bread. I had that oh, one, yeah. So, that was good. So good. And then they just got rid of everything. Yeah. So landscapes is not even a thing. I, I, I don't even go eat there. Mm. Very rarely these days. Um, Look, I, if somebody, that's a good test if someone's insane. If they just go to make a special trip to eat at one of these value <laughs> resorts or, or to Art of Animation, right? Like nobody eats, nobody makes that a destination. You eat there if you're staying there because you don't have better options. But right? it used to, like how much more effort is it really to try, right? They did it for years. And then at some point we're just like, ah, oh, the return's not that great. Let's just, let's just dumb the food down again. Like, so Disneyland Paris fell into this hole where they produced, like, garbage food for 20 years. And finally, like, someone came in and was like, hey, people are complaining. Like, people, are, people pack lunches and come here. If you want people to buy food, you have to give them food that's worth eating. And so now there's this big effort. Universal, the same things happen in Universal Orlando. Mm -hmm. Suddenly there's a bunch of places where they're really trying. I think Disney sometimes lose sight of that, and it's really, they started it in the industry that you should put some care into the food. Whether you are a value resort food court, the food should be edible and interesting. Like, you know, the whole thing, I, when we talked to the guy at Connections, the whole thing is like, yeah, we could just do regular burgers and pizza, but we also wanna have something elevated for people, which I like. If you have to have a burger and pizza place, at least be interesting. It's part of someone's vacation. They came here from so far away. It's a once in a lifetime thing. If they can't afford table service, then the counter service meal should feel special too, right? You still, I mean, like, especially with the family suites, like, the prices of those can go to, like, I mean, they're, I feel like they're like, moderate. The mermaid price, yeah. room can be $300, yeah. yeah. they're not cheap. So, yeah. like, if I'm going to, like, any other non-Disney hotel and I'm paying yeah. that much, I might expect my food to be pretty darn good, yeah. even though this is our value resort. Yeah. You're not paying, like, in the grand scheme of things, value value prices. No, it's value because only because you're kind of paying for two rooms. They're only one. value compared to other resorts on Disney yeah. property, right? right? Yeah. Because any place you go just off Disney property, you'll, yeah. you'll get a better quality room for less yeah. money, mm -hmm. right? Not any, I, so I, I Generally like, speaking. I like the art of animation rooms, right? I think the mermaid rooms are, oh, for nice. what they are, really well themed. They're really cute. Like the furniture's all unique and like you've, as opposed to the All Stars and Pop, like which are hospital rooms, Mermaid's the opposite of that, which I really like. No, that's cool, but I'm just saying, in, only in comparison to one another. Yeah. Even Universal, like um, Cabana Bay and the uh, yeah. the Endless Summer Resorts, yeah. are are priced like value resorts, yeah. and they're better than the Disney value resorts. I think because of the price you pay, they're generally very yeah. fairly priced. Yeah. Um, if they were the same price, the mermaid rooms are nicer, and so are the family suites yeah. at, at Art, but they're, they're always double, if not more. So right. like, that's, that's part of the conversation, right, is, is the value proposition. Like, it's going to make you feel better or worse about staying there, right? What I really liked, I don't know, I mean, I haven't been to that resort in a long time, but at, when they first opened, I really liked the merchandise that they sold. Yeah. They remember they used to sell the shower curtains, I mean, they, they were expensive, it was but a used thing, to sell yeah. the shower curtains that were in your hotel room. Like, that's yeah. really unique. Like, the, that's kind of neat. The plan was they were supposed to sell almost everything that was in the rooms, and then someone pulled the plug on it oh. very okay. quickly, and then the only other thing that ever happened, they were supposed to do it for all the resorts, wow. and then Polynesian only ever put out the lamp, which is yes. still out because they still have so many, the, the Maui lamp. Yeah. Where he's, yeah. So they still have those, but that's like the last vestige of when huh. they were going to try to sell. That would have been amazing. And then in, yeah. in the 2000s, well, the Grand Floridian had a cal uh, catalog for a little while when you could stay yes. in a room that had like the Mickey headlamp and some things they had from like there the too. But they had like the bedding too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, so they've tried that at different points, but I like that at Art where they were like, oh, you like the room? You can bring the shower curtain home. It's like, this is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I it. It's $100. Oh, my God. But all right. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I like these rooms a lot. I think I know their their value, and they're not they're not themed. It's not like Animal Kingdom Lodge or one of those. 
but I, I think they're really cute. I think the common spaces are great. Like you walk through the Lion King building and there's statues and there's a play area in the elephant graveyard and the cozy cone cabanas. Love it. Which are not a paid thing. You just have to get there when no one else is there and you can have your own cone, which is yeah. great. Um, I, I would like this to be a four. I think it's I'll a four. I'll be with you on that. No, I think three is I'm generous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I think it's why? very good for a value, but it's... Still a three. The value, the, the 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 value of it is important. Yeah. Right. So it's two rooms. The price is important, and to me, the price is a th makes it a three. That I feel the same. We have two yeah. bathrooms. Three. We got three threes. Yeah, three threes. Fine. Put art of animation at a three. Fine. All right. Pop century. One. Tell me why this one. is a one. No, I like pop century. Well, I, I know it's not. A, a, tell us why it should not, be higher than one, then. I don't think it's the greatest thing ever, and I totally understand why you would put it out of one. But I do like it. My family just went there all the time, so I just have an emotional attachment to it. I would stay at Pop Century before I would stay at an All Star, even yeah, though I know too. Pop Century is not. See, I would something you like, uh, really? because mostly because of everything slop, which is the food court, and everything pop. Um, it's I have had. R repeatedly, like even at Tony's, I've at least had a few things in my life where I was like, "That was edible." What? I have never yeah. had anything at, at Pop Century that was even close to food. I Not even to. close. The stairwells are all like full of bugs. Like I remember, like <laughs> fighting through cobwebs and everything to get up to our room one night, and mystery stains <laughs> in the carpets. And mystery I've tools? said this before, and then. No, if, Toodles wasn't there. No, Mystery Toodles, okay. I've said this before, and it kind of applies to the All-Stars, but if you Google the barracks at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, <laughs> they look identical to Pop Century <laughs> just yeah. before they painted it and put, like, a giant bowling It looked like the legendary the years was when they were yeah. unfinished, yeah. Um, I, like, I appreciate the theme, right? Like, there's a giant Roger Rabbit, and there's a computer pool that hasn't been updated in, you know, since the beginning, so, like, there's a website, web page from, like, 1990. Eight up on the screen. <laughs> and, um, I don't. Their know. pool is fun. There's nothing great about. I think the All Star pools are cooler. Definitely. I think they're more interesting. The hippy dippy pool is not cool. And people, I love the I, bar. I think it's the like, theme it's the of Pop Century is more junk fun. Junk everywhere. I think the theme of Pop Century is more fun than the All Star. Yeah, I. So it was, and you know what happened? And then Universal came in, and the, Lowe's is like, hey. You know the thing people like about Pop Century, this like nostalgic thing? What if we just lean into that instead of like giant ugly decorations? Give what if VO we just five. lean into like pick yeah. a decade, run with that decade, everything's the and Cabana Bay did a better job of Pop Century than Pop Century. That's true. But it was they they were copying. I mean they, kind of, but it was just was like it's like, oh, you know they picked like the 60s, what if we just did a 60s beach resort? What if that was every room was just, you know, the vin little vintage clock and we'll, we'll license the, the name of a soap brand that doesn't even exist anymore and just <laughs> little Alberto things like Alberto VO5 that. and some Coast. Yeah. yeah. Zest. Yeah. Was it Zest? I don't, but we're ranking this today. This isn't like when we went back and did top seven attractions I, of all time. We're the, talking about them in their decade. Let's some time. Pop this Century's is at two. I'd put one. two. I'd one. One. Really? One. Who's the one? You think it's worse than two ones. of the All Stars? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. So there you go. Three. That's it. Pop Century is a one. Everything slop. <laughs> <laughs> they had oysters once. It was the worst night oh, of our no. lives. Oh no. I couldn't Don't believe oysters they had from oysters. a counter service restaurant. <laughs> we had no do. That better was the than rule. that. We reviewed everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rule. It's new. You go and try it. It doesn't matter what it is. Sometimes you challenge each other to eat as much of the shrimp off the Trails End brunch buffet as possible. Oh, no. And you all regret it afterwards. That's the way it goes. All right, we're moving on to the moderates. Only three hours to go. Mm. What, are, what is the first moderate? Uh, Caribbean Beach. I, I'm going three. I'm going to make some points for Caribbean Beach because I think it needs to be said. Okay. Number one, you have Skyliner and Access. Number two, uh, Sebastian's is quietly one of the best restaurants on property. You have a pretty solid counter service. The rooms Pirate are rooms. modern, but not muted. They're, they ha they're still thematic. 
the common spaces are beautiful. There's beachfront. There's a bunch of quiet pools. So you can always find a pool that like no one's at. Spyglass Grill, I haven't been there since the reopen. I know they toned down the menu, but also very quietly, one of the best counter service restaurants available. You have this nice walk and then you share amenities with the overpriced, horrible Riviera Resort, which the best thing about Riviera is their food. So if you get tired of the food at your hotel, it's a very short walk to Riviera where Primo Piatto is legitimately maybe the best counter service on property. Topolino's is one of the best table service on property. You have a hell of a coffee shop. Like, I think for a lot of reasons, Caribbean gets missed by people, but it's it's got a lot of convenience. So Caribbean's a four it. because it uses amenities from another hotel. I'm that paying we're less. gonna say is a two. Yeah, I'm paying less, but I have access <laughs> yeah. to I have access to two table service restaurants. I have access to three counter service restaurants, which are all at least decent, if not great. So I, I like it because it, it's it's actually a very nice resort to just kind of walk around in. Yeah. Um, they have that. The the um, I don't know what's what's the area called where you kind of like walk through the trails and is oh, that, the little is that island yeah the little I forget island, the name seven, but eight. there's a little island yeah. with like a playground there's and trails hammocks and, and trails and like I said beachfront and there's lots of places to explore and walk I like the yeah. uh, I, I think the pool is well done I think I think the the food is is fantastic and you get the Skyliner yeah I, I there's a lot of points for this I don't know if I'm willing to go forward. I don't. They also have yeah. the pirate rooms, which I, I love. The pirate rooms are awesome. But, uh, can I just say this, definitely too? Definitely can't go below three. If you're like me, and you actually, one purpose of the hotel is that you sleep there. Nah. Any of these places that open to the outdoors, where there's people running around screaming, horns honking, all that kind of stuff, are going to be ranked lower than the ones that I have access to from inside. Right? Mm -hmm. But these are, as opposed to All Star, these are low density, right? They're two floors. You never have that many people like in a section, right? So I don't, I don't know. Every time I've stayed there, I always feel like I never even see the other people. I've had people around. like out on their balcony smoking a cigarette and drinking beer and talking all night long. Is that that three you? Doors at a moderate? If there were like three doors down at Caribbean oh. Beach. Oh, okay. You know, where they're out there and you're like, will you please shut up? Yeah, you there's know? something to be said. I don't like, I feel like Caribbean always gets discounted. So I always feel good about the price I pay there. Yeah, I'm going to, don't worry. I'm, I'm going to contradict myself when we get to Old Key West. Oh. But anyway. But what do, so what do we think it's on, a three. what do we think on Caribbean? I would give it a three. 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 Yeah. There's a lot of threes. I would have done four, but the threes have. Just put it, put it as a three. It makes me sad. <laughs> I like Caribbean Beach. All right, next up Coronado. This includes Grand Destino, by the way. It's not a separate hotel. I really like the pool area there. Great yeah. pool. Mm -hmm. Good for climbing. I do. Tons of restaurants <laughs> yeah. and bars and lounges. Yeah. There are a lot of restaurants and bars and lounges, and they're all good. They're, yeah. They're, yeah. Mm -hmm. All good. I no. know that you don't like the rooms there, but I not really anymore. like the lobby of the Grand Destino Tower. Yeah. I love the lobby of the yeah. Grand Destino lobby Tower. Lobby solid. I love the idea of this relationship with Walt and uh, Salvador Dali up in Dahlia. Mm -hmm. you know, I, with the clip art of them on the two big murals. <laughs> yeah, the, the clip art of them downstairs. Yeah, I, I mean, I think this is, again, it depends on if you're staying in a Casitas or if you're staying in a Grand Destino sure. Tower, probably. But in terms of, I don't know that if anybody offers the breadth of options for dining and drinking. And no one's even brought relaxing. up, uh, uh, what you call it? You got um, three bridges, you three got bridges. Rick's, you got, uh, yeah. what's the Mexican? Maya, is it the Maya, Maya Grill, Grill? Mm -hmm. right? You're you the have, only person I've ever spoken to who likes Maya Grill. I love Maya Grill. Toledo, Dahlia, uh, the downstairs bar in the lobby of Barcelona. Grandest. I like Barcelona. Toledo. Yeah. Um, the food, the big food court. I mean, the college food court. The what? The college food court. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, and you know obviously it's a convention. I will say this though, it is home to the worst table service restaurant at Disney World. Rick's. Yeah. Rick's Sports Bar. Oh yeah. my God. Neat. Rick's every is not a bad time. place to sit at a bar and watch a game. No. It's a terrible place to get a good meal. At don't a table. eat any food at Rick's Sports Bar ever in your entire life. Don't. I've had. I think all I of these make it like a. It's like a four. I, would I give think it a four. before Grand Destino, I would have given this hotel a four. I think they downgraded a lot of things. I think the food court looks like junk now. Like they took they had these big, beautiful statues, and yeah, I don't know. It was so have... they killed the marina. Number one, you took the marina away. 
Uh, number two, there's a bunch of weird dead space now in the middle of the buildings. If you're staying, also now like check-in so has moved all the way to the tower. So if you're in Ranchos, which already was the boondocks of, of Coronado, you now have to go all the way even further to Grand Destino. So to you talk would have to given someone. Caribbean Beach a four. Yeah. And this a three. Correct. No. Current, current Coronado, where they've muted the colors, it's not interesting anymore. You move the buses. Like, I don't, the layout's terrible now. Um, it has one of the best pools on property. All of the food is great. I love sitting at the all top the food of. Is not great. Okay. A lot of the food is great. Is, yeah. I love sitting at the top, like at Dahlia Lounge or at Toledo, and being able to look out and see like the fireworks. You can see the slingshot. You can almost Margarita see the film. fireworks <laughs> through the weird metal arch thing they put over the windows. And you know, oh no, yeah. why did we build a rooftop restaurant and then block most of it? But no, it's cool because from Dahlia, then you can see uh, you can see Animal Kingdom. You can, I like you Dahlia. can see Blizzard Beach. Yeah. You can see uh, yeah. Batu and. Dahlia has a better view of everything in Toledo. Uh, you can, yeah, if you go to the end, you can watch Harmonious. Yeah. You, you can, you can see all the way to. You can see our office from. The, if I stood up on the on the roof with a flashlight, you could see me from. I just roof think the Dahlia. rooms are so bad. They're like I can't give a hotel a four if the rooms. The in Grand Casino Tower, those are the thinnest walls at Walt Disney World. I have heard full conversations from people on either side of my room in that building. It's very bad. I'm like, still giving it a four. If we were ranking restaurants alone, four or five for, for Coronado. And only, it'd only be a four because Rick's killed everything else. <laughs> but I, for rooms, I can't give this more than a three. The rooms are awful. They destroyed the rooms in the regular buildings. They're so bleh. Everything's brown. Just brown. You, that you lobby is so gorgeous, though. Silhouettes of Let's caballeros and brown. Let's vote. <laughs> four. 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 Three. Four, fine, killing me. <laughs> All right, Nick, we got to make this one happen. I don't know if this this got put as a moderate. Does it count as a moderate? I don't even know. Fort Wilderness Resort oh, and right Campground. Yeah. I guess the oh, cabins well. are a moderate. I don't know. Um, oh. Nick, why is this a five? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh this is a five all the way. Um, just because. This is Disney World, like before the modern world moved in on everything. This is this is this is like like the vacation kingdom of the world. This is Disney World. This is going out and seeing like Florida. Like this is the only place I feel you could really see Florida and you could explore. You could see what the property probably looked like in 1971. Right. It, it, right? There's there there's obviously. You know, some things that were touched up. But, I mean, this is, like, kind of nostalgic Disney World, um, original Disney World, honestly. And and so, you know, when they go in and they update and they do things to Contemporary Resort and they do things to Polynesian, um, this resort largely remains. And, and Other than that dirt patch now. But. Right. There, <laughs> yes. And, and they, they've done some things now, you know, that, which kind of, you know, affected... Yeah. Some of the charm in that area, but I mean, you know, Hoopty's coming back. That's fantastic. Hoopty's coming back, which is uh, great. I mean, the just going there and and being able to enjoy a little little slice of wilderness, at, at, you know, at Walt Disney World. It's very charming to be able to do that, um, and and I love and and. I guess, Tom, you had never done this when we went to Trails End the other day. You, you no. had never really just walked to your car from Trails End. I didn't know it was a walking distance. Yeah. I thought it was kind and of And it's far. great to do it because it's just, a, it's a I nice, serene it. walk. It's you charming. get to see some of the campsites and the way people decorate. The walk I had done, which I miss, it's gone now. The one from Lodge right. to Fort, yeah. that was, you'd see, yeah. de just deer would just come out. Right. And, it was so beautiful back But this way you get to see now. the way people decorate their campsites and all that stuff. I love the and golf carts yeah. when they do the yeah. parade. Yep. Yep. People then, are just always out on their bikes and skateboarding. Yeah. It's a, I yeah. don't know. The if people there have a good vibe. We're I like We're talking them. like value for like bang for your buck. Yeah. yeah. I mm -hmm. also know people who like get RVs, rent them, and yeah. just have them set up there. Yeah. Sure. And, and you get to just take a boat over to the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. It's, 
you know. That and, beach is great. And I like the cabins too. The cabins. I was gonna great. say the oh, cabins are one of my right? favorite hotel rooms yeah. on all mm -hmm. of property. So you don't have to love camping, and it's you know, and, and it's warm because you, yeah. you know, if you if you get a cabin, we had a cabin. barbecue. Like that's one of my favorite yeah. things we did post COVID. Like the reopening was when I got the cabin and everyone came and barbecued. Like that was one of the most fun days. So I think just for its uniqueness, like, yeah. And, yeah. and and so Trails End now it's got used the to be one yeah, of the greatest Tri -Circle places. Tri-Circle D, yeah. But, but now mean, Trails End kind of ruined a little bit. Because uh, it's still not buffet, yeah. Yeah. The interior's yeah. still so, great, though. I don't know though. about that. I, Crockett's I love, Tavern still. I love yeah. Fort Wilderness. I think it's great. Yeah. There's a couple of annoying things about Fort Wilderness that all involve transportation, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it is not convenient to get something to eat. No. If you're staying with, you got to take like a bus that stops 19 times to get yeah. some place to get something to mm -hmm. eat. You can't, or you got to rent a golf cart, which uh, honestly, the golf carts are probably the best part of Fort Wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> you rent the golf what? cart and the parades and all the stuff. If you're there during like Christmas or whatever, yeah, uh, it's absolutely incredible. Amenities are like for shared bathrooms. Like if you're staying in the regular primitive camps, not primitive campsites, but with tent campsites. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, the, the shared amenities are about as clean as you, and nice as you could expect for what yeah, it is. Sure. Um, so I like that there's, there are a few different options for you to, to stay at you know, a, a little campground or one of those uh, cabins like you had. The transportation's a problem, right? I want to go to the Magic Kingdom. I got to ride a bus. Then I got to wait for a boat. And it's going to have 900 people on it. You know, it's gonna, those little things are a little bit annoying. So that would be yeah. my only thing of keeping it away from being a five. Uh, but I think the value might, might, might bring me around to a five. Because yeah. generally speaking, it's a different the value way. there is better than it is at a lot of the other. But rooms. it's also a different way to do Disney World, right? Like, I, I don't know if it's for the people that need to, you know, get, wake up at 7 a.m. and buy a lightning nope. lane for no. Rise of the Resistance. Right. <laughs> but if you want to, like, wake up and take a hike around the property and then, like, oh, then around 11, we're going to go to a park for three or four hours and do a few things... And then we'll come back and we'll barbecue or we'll go to trails. Like, that's, I think, what you got to do there. And I think that's a really there are a couple resorts, enjoyable way to there do it. There are a couple it. resorts where you really felt like you were on a vacation and you could relax. For, and yeah. this is one of them, yeah. right? The, some of the resorts are built to just go hit all the parks as hard as you can yeah. and be exhausted every day. And you, you, you get home and you're miserable and tired and, and yeah. out of money. And this isn't one of them. I think this has... A lot of relaxation built in, yeah. a lot of activities of its own that you could do, and for that reason, and s'mores I, with Chip and Dale. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's. I feel like this is like all, most of the other places, like, like you were saying that you know I don't want to stay here all day, but this like Fort Willis, I feel like I can spend my day, my entire you day here. You can stay a week at Fort Wilderness and not go to a park. It's so yeah. charming. Yeah. yeah. And the yeah. RV food truck. Don't forget the RV food RV truck. RV food truck. Oh, that's right. Fantastic. Yeah. No, I love Fort. So what are we? What are we? What are we doing? I think just for the value. Yeah. Five, yeah. Five? Five. five. Yeah. Fort Wilderness yeah. is a, a, a five. That's wonderful. That's great. People should go to Fort Wilderness. It's great. We didn't go there a lot when I was a kid. I'm, I'm sad about it, but I'm glad it, it kind of was intact till I got older. Now, not so much, but it's still great back there. You should still go back there. Uh, all right. Port Orleans Resort, French Quarter. Hmm. French Quarter. So... Food's good. This is where the princess rooms are? Scat Cats. Great. No, no, that's Riverside. That's, that's Riverside. Riverside. Okay. Um, Scat Cats? Scat Cats is here. Yeah. You said, yeah, you said it's Riverside. I was like... No, she was asking oh, about the princess oh, okay. rooms. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a cool slide. Food's <laughs> great. Pool's cool. Yeah, pool's wow. cool. I, li I like... Yeah. I love that slide. I love the design of the pool. The, the grounds are beautiful. Oh, like yeah. The buildings, I know Absolutely it's a modern. Beautiful. I know they have the outdoor hallways. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it is very, you know, like, again, it's called French Quarter. But you just walk the streets there. And, I, you know, I've been to New Orleans a couple pretty times. Cool. It's pretty, yeah. a lot of it's pretty accurate. It's cleaner. But a lot of it's, you know, there are moments there where you're like, this is, they really Their Mardi tried. Gras this parade, by the way. It's always really charming. Fantastic. Yeah. It's fantastic. We have a YouTube yeah. video. You should check it out. But yeah. it's. Adorable. I like scat cats. I like I like the counter service. And you get the boat transportation. You do. Um, the rooms are a little plain. They're nicer. They're nicer than a lot of rooms on property, but they there can be a little plain. Is this the one where people steal from you? No, it's the other one. That's Riverside. Okay, that's also but I'm gonna Riverside. fight hard for Riverside. <laughs> so um, 
They're not all that different. I completely disagree. Completely disagree. There are Riverside people and there are French Quarter people. There's just very, can't we all come together to and just say Port Orleans yeah, is pretty good? One. They're Let's two separate this. resorts. Don't care if they share a name. What do we what do we think for French Quarter? It's like a strong three, three week three, four. Three? I'm going four. I think four. I think it's the three food and a half. pushes yeah. it. I know. The pool's real good. Does have a cool yeah. pool. So what are we thinking? Three I'm or four? Still thinking I'll give three. it a four. I'm I'm still I'll give it a four. Three, three fours. It's got cats. Get we have three fours. Four. So four. Four for French Quarter. Now let me tell you why Riverside is a five. <laughs> See, I would have gone... Riverside Four. is Disney storytelling at its finest. It is thematic. That's the longest backstory I've ever heard. It, has, it, it does. Is it's insane. And then it has and two sides. And then Bedelia Schaefer left a cotton farm <laughs> yeah. to her nephew. There's a fan site. It's, what is it, porterleans.org? Yeah. Go, if you have like an afternoon in your board, go read the backstory. It is insane. Like the, 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 the just the island with the pool has yeah, a 20 page backstory. But it's also, it's this great story of like the check-in area is like where you uh, get ready to embark on the riverboat and you know, there, there's the lounge where you wait, but then there's also where they build the boats and it has this giant door. And if you look outside, the giant door goes straight onto the dock. And so thematically, it's wonderful. The grounds are beautiful and it's actually separated into two halves yeah. that are completely different, but then offer three very different room types, right? The, the alligator bayou rooms are completely different from Magnolia Bend and that whole area. And then the princess rooms on top of that are, I fell in love with them. I think they're amazing. I, I couldn't imagine as a kid, that in the pirate room, staying in those and just being like, this is the greatest vacation I've ever been on. And then Boat Rights is great. Food Court, Food Court might even be better than Boat Rights. River Roost. Free River live Roost. entertainment, five nights a week. You have Yeehaw Bob, um, the carriage rides. The pool is fantastic. The pool is one of my favorite pools on property. Yeah. It really is, because it has that water feature in the little island that you yeah. can swim around. Fishing? You go fishing. Oh, yeah. Right. Bike rides. This is all a little moderate. I, this, to me, is think not a moderate. Is on the this same is same level as, like, an Animal Kingdom Lodge? Or? I would rather stay here than most of the deluxe resorts wow. on property. And yeah. the rooms the rooms have some theme. Like, depending where you stay, they're completely different. The, the Alligator Bayou rooms are completely different. From Magnolia Bend, and then those princess rooms are just a whole another level. They're they're insanely themed. They're really they're really neat. I used to be a complete like completely opposite where I was um, French. I was French Quarter all the way for like yeah. most of my life, and then I stayed at Riverside only maybe like a two or three years ago, mm -hmm. and then I like walked the grounds, and as I'm walking yeah. around, I am falling in love with how beautiful the exteriors are. Like I'm getting like lost in these little tiny paths yeah. with the, the the you know the, the plants and the trees and the flowers. I'm like the little bridges that go over yeah. the streams are absolutely like, the most charming thing. The boats going by. And... It's so lovely just walking yeah. the grounds. I'm like I there's I don't know French if quarter any buildings other look better from the outside though, right? They look more like oh wow, this looks. Like I don't agree. Cool. I think the big plantation houses are pretty yeah. and then i love cool. like the little the bayou, is the really bayou buildings oh, yeah. are cute too yeah. like, so I, cute. I i think this is a five i think this is the best moderate resort at disney world i i love it i love everything about it i'll give it a five five i would give it a four i'm i'm a four um Allison it's decides. close it's on your shoulders I'm going to, I think, looking at the cost and what you get, I'm going to have five because yes. of because of what you get for the price and how beautiful. Yeah. How beautiful it is. I agree. Riverside gets a five. Justice. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, nice and even. Okay. Uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Five. We five. just want to. Do we even? Do we want to talk about? It? No, five. No, right. Five. Just give it the five. I'm wearing the shirt. <laughs> So not, yeah. Yeah. It's the That's not even the one we're talking about. Oh, wait. This is just the oh, regular. Oh, just oh, 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 They're oh. separate like resorts. Norman. Jumbo. Yeah. 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 You're talking I'm about Jumbo. It Jumbo. Oh, okay. It's a five, though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Across I've the only board, stayed at Kidani. I've never stayed at Jumbo. I've but. stayed at both, and I would but I mean, like both. The pool is kind of boring. The same building. I mean, come on. The pool is kind of boring. 
Um, I, I wrote out Irma. Fair. Was that you, the, there's the, animals at the pool. No, I'm not talking about the guests. You feel <laughs> animals. <laughs> my only, my yeah. animals at the pool. My only criticism of Animal Kingdom Lodge is you feel like you're kind of pushed away from the rest of the resort, and now you can see like it's slingshots on 192 it's a shame from they there. Those trees, because um, you know. they got rid of those trees. It's not their yeah. fault. It's not their fault. It's, it, it's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it is on the absolute edge of property. Yeah. Yeah. It is still but it's five. still a five, right? I mean, yeah. you wake up and there's giraffes out the window. Yeah. I mean, if you have, if you have Savannah view, room? it's a five. If you have parking lot view, it's probably a four. It's still great. It's, like, the, the art hotel, inside that lobby, yeah. is amazing. The lobby is The gorgeous. lobby and the... Oh, it's so good. Five? five. Chico Boma. Five. Yeah. All your children's names, Chico. <laughs> I'll name my kids after <laughs> restaurant. All right, Tomorrow. that's a five, yep. Uh, boardwalk Inn. This is tough. This you know why? why? You it's come? annoying to stay there because the hallways are infinitely long. They are. And the rooms are so not. So this is not the DVC. This is the regular. The rooms are not fantastic. However, if location is important to you. Location, yeah. yeah. It's pretty damn fantastic. Right, you, you have stay at yacht and beach. bars and oh. restaurants and yacht and everything. Everything yacht and beach has, you have, right? Except you don't have access to their pool. But you can have right? a nice. But you can room walk. You can walk to two parks from there easily. What's the price? Uh, plus difference? Skyliner access. Much, um, if even any. I don't love the rooms. I like They're the theme. Bad. I like the amenities. I like all the stuff that's nearby. I'd they are the worst deluxe rooms on property. And I know there's some special ones. I know there's like the honeymoon suite thing, and like obviously those are a different story. But a majority of the rooms. The the problem is the rooms aren't special. No. Yeah. It's, they're very bland. Even for and they're not even fully remodeled. They're still bland. They were bland to begin with. Which I don't know. Grand um, pulled it off. At least you know, I don't like the current. Grand I'll just say one thing on on Boardwalk's behalf though. You go there in the evening. That place is buzzing. Yeah, there's kids know. running around on yeah. that green outside. We, there's magicians doing stuff. There's. Yeah. Are we counting everything on the boardwalk? Or well, no, but I mean, those are, all, yeah. those are all things you look out of your window and see, yeah. right? So for that, I, mean, I, I think that's worth something, right? Yeah. yeah. Obviously, that's why Disney charged what they charge, because yeah. the, the rooms aren't, aren't that great. But yeah. it is uh, it, location, tough yeah. to beat. When we did the uh, concierge room, I mean, that, the, that was the first time I ever stayed with the view, like, out at the boardwalk, and it's great. The room, again, was very blue, but at least we had this, this fantastic view out the window, but I don't know. I'd give it a The four. rooms are just so bad. Like, Flying Fish is great. That's where I stayed during Irma, by the way, Alice. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Your counter service is like a weird window thing oh, yeah. on the boardwalk, yeah. which I don't particularly like. I, I think it's fun to visit the boardwalk. I, was I don't say think that. it's fun to stay I, at the I've, boardwalk. I've heard I've never stayed. I, I've heard people say the rooms are really bad. That's a thing I've heard everybody. I don't think they're really bad. I just that. think they're they, not. For the like price, it. they're really. I bad. I mean, there right. are other deluxe resorts with worse rooms, including a contemporary. Um, but I they're, do like visits. I don't know, like the, the contemporary the boardwalk rooms are, are dim to the point where it's kind of you get depressed in that interior. Like mm -hmm. I was, it was a little dim in there, and I'm like, I gotta. get It's out all of kind this of room. mauve and muted teal, and but then the lighting's just I so think, dark in the room. Things look so, faded inside. I, it looks I'll give it. I'll give it. A, I'll, give it a, I'll give it a. I'm, I'm I'm saying I'll give it a, four. a four or three. A three I'm or a one. I'm sorry. I'm a one for boardwalk. Wow. I could go to three. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's middle of the road for me. I'm gonna say a three. Yeah, three. I'll go three. So three, three. That's fair. We met in the middle. That's fine. If if only for flying fish, I'll, I'll give it the three because flying fish. That's is all the amenities. One of are, if are not the great. best restaurants. All the nearby the stuff is great. Yeah. And I did get married there. All right. Uh, the contemporary. Just the contemporary, or are we including? Not Bay Lake Tower. This okay. does not include Bay Lake Tower. Uh, it's overpriced. Yep. The rooms look like crap. Yep. Uh, the rooms are small. Yep. You um, can't get into your own restaurant. You can't oh, get in your own they're restaurant. They're all booked. Um, California Grill's great. Steakhouse 71 is not as good as The Wave was. Chef Mickey's is crap. Uh, Contempo is crap. Um, yeah. Not even close to the Magic to Kingdom, though. It, so I'll give it a two. So for the view, I mean. For I location, know. I would give it a three. 
yeah. the location. I think the location gives it a three. I, yep. I get that. But God, those, those incredible, they feel like value rooms, man. Yeah. And those all rooms right. are still, like, they lost all the charm. Like, I know, like, the last rooms weren't beautiful, but you, there was some weird charm about it. If you, it's like Disneyland Hotel, same as Disneyland Hotel. You know, as a Disney fan, when you stay there, you understand the history and that they've rebuilt that room 15 times and that it's, it's a weird thing that's sitting there that they put into place. And so, yeah, that's why it slopes in places and there's weird <laughs> corners of the room and the, the, the tub has a weird vacant corner yeah. in the, on the side and the bathroom past the toilet goes all the way to the other wall. Um, but you, you're okay with those things because, again, you know the history of the building. It's kind of, it's kind of charming. And by, and and by the way... Now it's, they're just so modern and... Ugh. I stayed there when I was in high school for free because I was participating in a, in a school-sponsored event. Yeah. You didn't for say a it's week. Yeah. In the garden wing. Yeah. yeah. And when I was 18 years old in the garden wing, I was like, eh. Eh. I yeah. should be blown away, right? Now I don't have the view. Yeah. And I have all the other stuff. It was, it's just not special. I like it out. I like walking the grounds and the, the beauty, beautiful views The grounds? Views you mean the, the pavers? Yeah. No, but like out no, by the, the beach and fun. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And down at that end, it's pretty, yeah. You, you feel a little bit of history there. Yeah, that's that's, the that's all it's got going for it at this point. So I don't, those rooms. I hope they never get rid of the contemporary. I just will not pay the premium yeah. to stay there. So what are we, what are we it's saying? It's a three. three. Three, yeah. two or three. Three is fine. I three. stood there for the fiftieth. It was that was a lot of. I it was not worth the money. I remember when we had to leave because they were building the room next to us. <laughs> that yeah. was awful. That construction. That was great. Me. Where I called and I was like, unhappy. They're like, do you want us to move you? I was like, no, I just want to leave. <laughs> nah. They were like, do you want anything? We're like, no, just refund us for the for the trip. And we're just gonna after one night, we're just gonna we're just gonna go home. <laughs> they're like, wow. all right. Uh, they're building yeah. the room next door. It's like, you, yeah. you guys, it's a mess up here. Like, you're not done, and you're having people stay up here. Come on. I mean, the room didn't look good. I, all the, you can see in the video tour, we did all the uneven paint look, lines. And, like, that was acceptable. I, I paid seven-something a night, yes. and it's acceptable to have a room that wasn't finished? Like, you the, gave that the to somebody? Day of the There's so many stuff for the history, though. Too? Right? It is, but, like, Mary the, Blair you, you degraded the and quality. And Richard Nixon. <laughs> Yeah. All this bizarre history associated with the resort. Yeah, is, no. I hope like, the resort is there forever. The only reason it's got a three because if that history wasn't there, it's a one. Yeah. yeah, it's a one at that point. All right, Grand Floridian. Way overpriced. Yeah. Uh, rooms are. They're bad. Average. I wouldn't even say grandma's. They're like the old ones used to be, but that's what was charming about them. Like they felt kind of homey back in the day with the Alice art. And the striped wallpaper, and like the big comforters. Like I like the old. Now it's, it is so generic and not a room that is near the value you pay. And they took away the band. No, that's exactly. They took what away the band. Yeah. It, it, the, it like, it used to have a, like some kind of life in that lobby. Yeah. You used to be a little bit excited yep. to stay there and, and walk in, and now it's dead. The yeah, lights but are at all Christmas broken. Time, I love You'll call me a hypocrite because I go to Ginger Enchanted Red Rose. House. The only time Meisner's. I like going there now is Christmas time. Like I have yeah. no yeah. reason oh, yeah. to care about. Yeah. Going. I, love I like that Easter Christmas. too. That's kind of nice. Getting rid of Meisner's was a mistake, even though I still go to the Enchanted Rose as overpriced and Enchanted overrated Rose. as it is. I hate that. Gasparilla is okay. Makes no sense there. They're going to destroy the rest of that lobby. Park Fair is okay. Victorian Alberts. I've eaten there once ever. I love Grand Floridian Cafe, by the way. Narcoosies is allegedly trash. Narcoosies is awful. That's why they're closing and redoing the menu, because they know. They know it's bad. Citricos is fantastic. I like Citricos. New Citricos was an upgrade, honestly. They did a great job. I'll give Grand Floridian a two. I, I think just for Citricos and Grand Floridian Cafe, I'll give them a yeah, two. That's all I'm fighting that. for at this point. I would point. give them a three. And a great view of the electrical water pack. Yeah. So two. two. Two for the grand. It's not that grand. All right, let's just move on. Just because it's Old Key West. Aww. I love this place. I went there for the first time last weekend. And oh. I thought it was your really first time? charming. Yeah, I had never been before. <sighs> did you stay there? Did you eat there? What did you... I ate, yeah. Okay. It was really nice. Yeah, I'll be honest, it's not one that I ever think about ever just visiting. 
Yeah. But like it's one of those I never really go to. It's one of those where you feel you're, like you're on vacation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. it has a relaxing I didn't feel like vibe. I was at you don't feel like yeah. pressure to get up and run it's to the car. It's colorful. It's it's. Well, and and by the so way, cute. I've only stayed in DVC. The rooms are cute. I've only stayed in DVC places there, right? But there is only DVC. Yeah, that's all places. DVC. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, so not everybody's going to have an opinion on this. But they're spacious. Yeah. That's before yeah. DVC figured out that they could give you half the space that for more two, money. That two bedroom might be my one of the like top five hotel rooms on property. You got the it's you can so sit out on a golf course, or you have a view of the water, or you have you know. We had some weird Floridian bird come into the room. What? Oh like, yeah. So we're near the golf course, and this weird bird. We're like, what's that weird bird? And at that moment, the bird looked towards us yeah. and <laughs> flew to the window. Yes. <laughs> came onto the balcony and followed us inside, and then we yes. had to chase him out. Oh my God, what, that's so magical. Yeah, I, I definitely want it to It had like this. a turkey face, but it wasn't a turkey. Was it a turkey vulture? Maybe. Yes, it, it was. It was Allison. so was weird there. looking, and I was like, was get it, it out of so. here. Was <laughs> <laughs> Were you there for that? Okay, maybe it's a turkey vulture. I was there for that. And this is the most relaxing Disney Resort, Yeah. I th Walt Disney World Resort, I think. This it's is so charming. And Olivia's is good. I love Olivia. Uh, gurgling suitcase, despite what Pete has oh. to say, is not bad. He you know, hates they got a great pool. Gurgling suitcase? Why? Pete doesn't like, there's a bartender that maybe short poured him at the gurgling suitcase. <laughs> Pete never forgets a short not pour. To, not to, you know, degrade Pete, but like, you got to get a turtle crawl. Like, that's what you're drinking there, not whatever Pete's ordering there. Yeah. Like Tito's and vodka. It's not the place for it. You need a turtle crawl. You need it in a really big oversized cup that's meant to share with two people. Like that's that's where it's at. Or a, uh, what is it? The purple cooter? Is that the yeah. other Excuse one? Me. The purple Excuse cooter. Me. What did you say? There's a it's a drink called the purple cooter. It's a yeah. thing. No, I, and I that's freely admit that it has. Tool. Okay. No, <laughs> no. I, I freely admit that it does that it has like exterior doors, which I bitched about earlier, and it's got 19 bus stops, which I bitched about earlier, but. I love that about, they're all different elevations. There's something about the Old Key West. Yeah, there's something about Old Key West. Oh, it's 90s Disney at its best. It, it's thematic and charming, and it feels home. It feels like home. Yeah. Like when they say, like I had never stayed there before the reopening, and we, obviously we did every hotel. And when I stayed there, it was like I get the welcome home thing. This was the first one, and it does feel like a place you'd wanna, like I wanna live on this at this resort. It's just. The pool is great. The room just feels homey. The living area Everyone's and kitchen nice. is massive compared yeah. to like Saratoga or any really any DVC property. And like the right. intimate lobby and restaurant complex, it's all one floor. It just yeah. I don't know. It just feels homey. It's nice. So what are we? we what are we? It's a five. Rank? Those rooms are I, the best. Be five. five. Yeah. Anyone else feeling five? There's three. I've never st stayed in the room, so four, but I'm fine with the five. I wouldn't argue. That's a, five. That's a five. Put it up there. I love old Key West. I could want to become a DVC member just for that. <laughs> um, all right. Polynesian Village Resort as it exists today. Oh, God. It's the best monorail <laughs> resort, which means oh, it's at no. least a three. <laughs> Look at those steel beams. <laughs> they, they murdered this resort. Like okay. violently but they murdered. Have not but Tom, murdered best pool, best yet. pool. When they, yet. It's when they dead. put the, the like, Howard Johnson up there, that's when it's really It's murdered. already yeah. there. Like this, this entry thing, this, this big ugly ass steel thing they built at the front and the rooms are kind of, uh, uh, they're not as bad as I thought they were going to be, but I they're, like they're, uh, this one, our top seven best pool, right? Seven. The volcano. And Trader pool. Sam's one best love, bar, right? I love the Sam's. Pool. And Ohana. And, I mean, and Ohana I mean, is up there at restaurants. Yeah. And even. Um, even the quick service is pretty good. Yeah, Captain Cook's. Captain Cook's is yeah. good. Yeah. It's not bad. And yeah. I just went blank. The bar upstairs Tell, outside Cafe? Ohana. Oh, oh, Tambu? Yeah, Tambu. Yeah, Max Scratcher oh, was, was in the conversation Tambu. too. So yeah. get, I think that it's got to be at least a three. I would go four at least. I love the location. It's got to be a three or four. I mean, really price, when price before. comes into it, yeah. It's but been so bastardized at this point. Though. One of the, like, most magical nights was when we had, 
like all of the Wigs members, and we watch the final happily ever after. Oh yeah, if you can stay in one of the That's bungalows. That's the bungalows. That is, that is a separate. separate. Oh, is that separate? <laughs> that is okay. a separate thing. We can talk okay. about that. Also, I don't know who has the money to stay in a bungalow. Don't know. <laughs> Only a few of them. No, but you can stand on the beach there and watch yeah. the fireworks the and the little, little bit of beach right. that's left. Water you can go back into Trader there. Sam's. Like Sam's is I'm, such a hassle. But the terrace yeah. outside like Trader Sam's, Sam's is fantastic. Terrace, you never have to wait. Yeah, I'm giving it at least a four. I'm doing four. I, I have to give it a, a three or a four. I'm at three. I'm four. I think, I think I'm four. It's, it's four. Fours. All right, four is Polynesian. What's left of the Polynesian is a four. It's by far the best monorail resort. It's not really a big award. According to us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, boy. The one you've all been waiting for. Right. Disney's Riviera Resort. Look well, Tom just is. told me how great all these restaurants are. The, I, I will say, like, I would give this hotel a one if it wasn't for the dining, because the dining is all top notch. Every single venue is fantastic. Even Bar Riva. We didn't even talk about Bar, Bar Riva. Bar Riva, yeah. It's got Skyline. They are totally access. out of touch with the price on this. Yeah, no, for the points, it's terrible. Like, that closet room is a joke. The bathroom was bigger than the bedroom. Like, I don't understand it. Like, the two-bedroom had its moments because they put a lot of art in it. It's a little, it's more detailed than the rest of the hotel, but generally the rooms are not great. There's a lot of, like, things that look unfinished. There's weird windows where you look outside and there's unfinished, like, uh, corners of buildings that have no theming on it them. It looks like the old Hooters concrete. Hotel on I-4. <laughs> yeah, I, it is an ugly building. I so want to buy this hotel building. for what it's worth and sell it for what they think it's worth. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one that has those mosaics on the... Oh, the mosaics are gorgeous. On the outside. Yeah. No, are the, the mosaics are gorgeous from a distance, but when you look up close, you can see that things are, like, uneven, and it's yeah. like... Uh, yeah, it's a mosaic. I love the big... Out. I love the big... Uh, the big Riviera logo out in the courtyard in the back where they had to send it in two pieces and they never aligned it correctly. It's my yeah. favorite. I love There's it. There's stuff that's not aligned correctly. They like, had to fix on, the bocce court because people were here? cracking the concrete border. They didn't realize oh, that would wow. happen. They had to put wood oh. in it. Because of their restaurants and amenities, I give it a two. There's two hallways that they're only theming is they put up movie posters. And they're like, oh, but they're the foreign movie posters. Like, that's not a theme. <laughs> Do you know what a theme is? You have not transported me to the Riviera. You have transported me to a cheap French movie house. This, <laughs> this is not a theme. And that lobby, it is the worst lobby at Disney it's World. Terrible. I hate that lobby. It's, it's a two. Rings. What, what are these lights and rings? What, what is this? What is this? What is this about Italy or France? Neither of these things. Also, are their right. security are jerks. There's what? The security. Security there, they're jerks. Security's mean. They think they're, they're protecting Fort Knox. Not. No. Like, but get over yourself. Your parking lot's connected to Caribbean Beach. Primo Piatto. <laughs> it's very good. The restaurant. So, where are we going? Because we, like, the restaurants are great. Either two. maybe two, maybe one. I don't know. I'd give it a three just for the dining. They're that good. I'd rather stay here than any of the all stars. That's fair. That's fair. I would too, just really for the food. Ooh, Desi, you convinced me. I'll go to a three. I'm at a three. Three. Sounds fine. I think the threes have it. Three for Riviera, which is probably higher than people at home thought we'd go in Riviera. But really, just go eat there. Don't stay there. All right. Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. Is it interesting enough for anyone in this panel to even have a thought about Since it? Since the remodel, it's a lot nicer than it used to be. <laughs> it is. That two-bedroom was nice. Well, I used That's to love the, the Grand Villa. We the, 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 uh, the cheeseburger Flatbread. Oh, I remember that sort of whole thing. Oh, their food yeah, court yeah, is good. Was, yeah, the food court's good. Um, their bake shop, their baking team is good. But Whoever there's, delivers their stuff. There's nothing great about it's this. It's just not special. Tree houses? The pool isn't even yeah, that tree great. Well, they're separate. They're going to be they're separate. They're going to be separate? Yeah. Okay. The pool right, are they? No, they're combined. Yeah, oh, they're no, no, they're coming up. It's coming up. Oh, okay. No, it's coming up. It's just boring. There's just turf club is good. You have, I like the turf yeah. club. You can walk to Springs like or take a boat good. to Springs or take a boat to several other resorts. Really it's like it's like out. old Key West, but theater. less interesting. For no it's reason. like I don't know. It's just like the it's the watered down version of a lot of the ones we like. Mm. You can roast marshmallows. You are close to Springs mm. though. Do that everywhere. It's a three. It's a I'm no. It's a two. two. Uh, yeah, it's two. A one. Turf club's not great. No, I like it. Turf club lounge though. They're full of lounges. They do have the cool cup if you get the mint. Interesting. 
It's a two. I'd give it's, it a it's two. It's a weird converted other hotel that somehow is Saratoga themed. So what do we got now? Two? Two, yeah. two. One. Two. Two for two. Saratoga. Okay. So two for Saratoga. All right. But now we have the Treehouse Villas. Ooh. This Those is top amazing. five hotel rooms on property. But you have almost no amenities. There's no amenities to, at all. You have to get over to Saratoga for the amenities. But that, oh, the treehouse really is so cool. cool. I was at that treehouse one time. Yeah. And it was amazing. It, like, yeah. you're, it's so quiet and secluded. And it's just, it's just so lovely. Yeah. I love that treehouse. Yeah. And how much did it cost? I don't know. I was They're with expensive. you guys. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> how much wow. did it cost, Tom? I don't know. They weren't my points. I have no idea. Ask Jason. You can't base anything back then because that was when no one was coming and everyone sold their points dirt cheap. So that's why we did all the room tours and reviews because they were they were the cheapest they were ever going to be, right? There so are I zero I amenities think, honestly, at this resort. We got that for we probably got that for seven hundred for the night, mm -hmm. which that sleeps eight to ten people. I forget how many people that sleeps. There's zero wow. amenities. You could have got a a three bedroom place at World Quest for 200 bucks. <laughs> it's nice enough. I, I don't know, I just, the Treehouse Villas are cool, it's a cool experience, but yeah. they have a huge deck, which is cool. But there's nothing else there. That's right? fair. I there's think it's nothing a three there. just because it has no amenities, I think. That's what I was thinking, middle of the road, three. yeah. That's I can agree with a three. I was three. say four. Yep. That's fine, threes have it though. <laughs> three. All right, let's keep chugging along. We got a lot more of these left. This is probably another one we don't really have to talk about. We just give it the five, Wilderness Lodge. Yeah. Five. Oh, yeah. five. Just give it the it's five, the, Jake. It's the best. Jake, put it. It's the best. This is it's the one that one. my family oh, stayed at the most growing up. It is the pinnacle of Disney. I think it might be the best Disney resort that's ever been built. It's great. The rooms are a little less cool now, but they're still pretty solid. But food is great. It's beautiful grounds. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Yacht Club. The Yacht Club. We gave Boardwalk a three. This is nicer than Boardwalk and has yeah. all the same positive mm -hmm. attributes. So I'd say it's a little closer to Epcot. Yeah. yeah. Got the pool. I like the pool area. Yeah, no, the, the, the Boardwalk's the best, pool. One of the best pools. Boardwalk's pool is like lame. The the, 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 the other than the Keystone yeah. yeah. Coaster. I think it's a four. I think this would be both a four. four. I think just because there's too much convention aspect, right? It's hard for you to fall in love with it because yeah. it's not, it's not made to be charming. It's made to be a convention. This hotel. and Beach have those lobbies that are unimpressive. It's like a low ceiling. You walk in, there's, it's fair. they're cool lobbies, but they're not like you don't walk in like Animal Kingdom yeah. Lodge or Wilderness Lodge. You're like, oh my god. Yeah, it's a four. Yeah. It's a four. It's a we're four. all we're all in agreement. Yeah. It's a four. Four for Yacht Club. Now, Beach Club. Also, also a four. Also four. Oh, I think beaches. They're are just five. the same resort yeah, with the paint. The, the rooms are so well. much more charming, though. They've got color in them, and you're you are in Epcot just about. <laughs> I like Beach Club. I still no, think it's still just think a four. four. Yeah. I like the food better at the Yacht Club. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they got beaches and cream. Beaches and cream. Oh, I have beaches bad, and cream. Bad experience. You got beaches and cream. Is that just, just because which, the kitchen sink? Which is it? a twelve-second walk from the yachtsman. Does he you know, have? Like, does he has a, a sorted pass with that Sunday? Are we going four on this? Four. Four. Yeah, four. Four, all right, four. Can't do it. Five. All right, we're going into the the villas now, the DVC ones. Here oh no. Bay Lake Tower. I I haven't stayed here. I don't. They're fine. Yeah, These don't rooms they, are better. That being said, they were built in the recession. And sometimes the shelves fall off the walls. Ah. And sometimes you find weird little things they did they made with bad materials and the doors are like cracking and like things I like they that. Advertise for like you're taking a bath and watching the fireworks, right? But like everyone has a good view and you watch fireworks yeah. or you look out at Bay Lake at sunset, which is always great. I'm okay and with giving it a four. It's a fun little pool back there too. I like that pool, the slides. If Top of the World's it's, open, it's a four. It's an easy walk to Magic Even easier. Kingdom. It's better than staying at regular contemporary for sure. Mm. So we think four? Yeah, four. Four, four. All right, Polynesian villas and bungalows. Obviously, the bungalow is amazing. And if you haven't watched the tour cool. on YouTube here, you should watch it. Are we still including the Did pool you, area? Look, separate place. They are. They're on the website. It's a separate There's the same parking 
So well, I, I would, if we gave Polynesian a, a four, this has this to be a five. You check yeah. in in the five. same place. It has to be. It's like not even a question. So yeah. these rooms are better too, right? Like the we're not even talking about just the bungalows. The villa rooms are better than the Moana rooms. Is that the I room where so. where the toilet backed up and yeah, where we blew up the toilet on the return day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe that's stay not there so for great. Free. Yeah. That was great. It's all the same amenities as Polly. <laughs> Just and then, rooms. and then, fourteen guys in in uh, golf carts came out and started digging up the ground outside the building, oh, knowing no. like, oh, this happens all the time. We got to fix this again. No, I'd geez. still give it a five. I have I values of consideration. I give it a four. I I think four. It's definitely it's better than regular poly for sure, but it's a four, mostly because again, like they've ruined a lot of this hotel. Four. Four. Five. Who said? Who else said five? The two ladies said five. But Nick, are you a four? I was five. Oh, we're, it's a oh, five. It's fine, oh. give it the five. Fine. People are clapping. <laughs> they must own Polly. <laughs> well, pretend I don't. Uh, all right, <laughs> villas. Villas at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. These rooms, I think, make up for the other. The other rooms are bad. I like the villa rooms. They're they remind me of old Grand Floridian. They're really charming. I love the lobby in here. It's cute. And you it share, and I, right? Grand Floridian's got great food, and I don't have to go and look at that bandless lobby on the other side. Sure. I'm a five on these. I like oh, wow. the villas. Wow. I, I mean, was going to say three. I don't have wow. much. I, I'd have to say, like, I'm using the same logic that's maybe one step up. If we gave Grand Floridian three, this would be a four. So that's what I'm going with. Did we give Grand Floridian yeah. three? Yeah. Okay. I think we did. Yeah. I give I give this a three then. How many threes we got? I Me and Nick. No, I was a four. Ladies a four. Nick's four. Ladies. Oh, wow. I would say four. I'll go, I'll go three. Oh, so I have to tie break <laughs> it. Four then. Give it the four. I like those rooms a lot. Okay, so there are two different Animal Kingdom villas classifications. Oh come now. on. Yeah, I know. The Jumbo House. No, they're pretty different. Jumbo house. Sure they have, they have the same yet? amenities. They do and they don't. But also, we're talking about rooms. So the Jumbo house rooms are different. They're converted regular rooms uh, in in Jumbo. So I don't I don't particularly like these. There's still Animal Kingdom Lodge though. But I don't know. I think for the points, it's kind of silly. I would be a four on these. It's still Animal Kingdom Lodge, but I think the rooms are down a peg. Because of what you spend. I do like it. Kidani probably better. So if I know that Kidani is coming up next, then I, I would be It happy. certainly is. This, I could see this being a four then. I'll go with your four. Kidani is definitely a five. Fours, fours have it. Four. Kidani's next. We want to just give it the five? What I'm sorry. Think? I've only stayed in the Grand Villa here, Tom. So. Oh, my <laughs> God. Man, how many nights? We were there for a couple nights. That was I actually didn't stay there. I just hung out there. That was dirt cheap. That was yeah. those. Someone had to get rid it's of those five. points in a hurry. It's a beautiful room. I, I got think. upgraded to this room for free. Did you? Wow. That's great. How'd you get that? I. They heard about her affinity for Simba. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. This room 135. The greatest experience I ever had was getting upgraded to this room from just booking a single room. Wow. That's great. Did yeah. you ask them? Like, did they just offer it to you? What it was, was going on? It was like my husband had spilled some wine on himself at um, Food and Wine and <clears> went <throat> to the room to go check in. They're like, oh, your room's not ready yet. And he just, I guess, looked really de dejected. And they're like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and upgrade you. Here you go, folks. Just I'm going to try that one. Pour some <laughs> wine on yourself and I'm show up and check in and upgrade. see what happens. <laughs> The people in the audience are just going, where is it? <laughs> Pour this natty light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so five. Five yeah, for Kadani. Yeah, yeah, that grand villa was. was. But all the rooms nice. are great. I love all the all the room types here are great. And you're near Sanaa, which is as close to heaven as you can get on this planet. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, boy. Boardwalk Villas. Why is this a one? <laughs> I hate that sink. I give it a two. The sink. The sink is the worst. <laughs> it's Why a, is it divided? Look at that Who's terrible, like that? slatted wall with the bad art. Oh my goodness! It's a two for location. I hate amenities. it. Amenities. 
Yeah, I'll give it at least a two. The Better than the All Stars. So yeah. Oh, I'm giving it a one for that sink. I hear some complaining in the crowd. Someone must own Boardwalk. I'm sorry. That looks like a break room at like a, <laughs> a bad warehouse or something. It does like, a little bit. It just. Oh. I. Oof. This is like the worst oof. like Location version of Monopoly. And one or two. Two. It's like Baltic Avenue. I'm really disgusted by that. I'm throwing out a one. Yeah, one. One for the sink. One. A one for the villas. <laughs> Thank you. You would rather Beautiful. stay yes. at the All I don't Star even need you to Music I would than rather at the Boardwalk Villas. At Cerro Lago off site, where like in the room next to the outline of someone's body, <laughs> than, than stay in that Boardwalk Villa again. All right, Beach Club Villas. I like these. These are fine. I like these. The room could be more interesting. The views are always, I don't know, there's good view. Look at that Donald art. So cute. I would give, the, it's a really functional room. I love that little table that comes out. I would give us a four. Give a you're real close, you're even closer table. to Epcot. Just get, what'd we give Beach Club, a four? Yeah. Give it a four. Yeah. I could I fall well. out of the balcony into Epcot. <laughs> from here. So four, are we doing four? Four. Yeah. Four, okay, we got two left. Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. These are the older, these are the older rooms. I think a four. I agree. Yeah. Fours. I've never stayed, so I can't comment. No, but I mean, where it is and- Train room. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. train room. Okay, so that's a four. And last but not least, Copper Creek. the Copper Creek Villas and Cabins Five. Wilderness Lodge. Are you doing this just for the cabin, it's a five? It's Copper Creek in general, better than Boulder Ridge. <sighs> so- Right, if you're given a choice between staying at Copper Creek or Boulder Ridge, where are you staying? We j keep in mind, we just the ranked Boulder, Boulder Ridge Ridges rooms four. are really old at this point. They're supposed to get updated fairly soon, which is great because they need it. But I love that building anyway. You know, it's a little muted, but honestly, like, I like the two bedroom. We did the two bed Again, you can watch room tours of pretty much all of these rooms on the channel. The two bedroom was really, yeah, there you see, and that is the, it's the two bedroom, yeah. Look at the it art is, above the, the tub. I didn't want to admit it, but I liked the room a lot. It had some good details to it. I. I would be a five. Would yeah, be there a five there's two fives. These. I'll go for a five as well. Five. It's a five. They did a nice enough job with it. All right, there you go. We did it. We were pretty generous. Look at all those fours and five. You know, I say this all the time. Like, it, it's hard to like Disney World now. I think our parks are a wreck. But, like, where we shine are the resort hotels. It's the one thing that none of the other Disney resorts in the world generally compete with us at. Like, this is what we're best at. This looks about right. We were very generous with the fives. So. I think they're that good. I think there's that many places at Disney World that are that great to stay to the point yeah. where I maybe wouldn't even want to go to the park. Like, I just really, like, Wilderness Lodge especially. Like, I think I'd walk down to Fort, or head down to Fort Wilderness and hang out, and hang out at the lodge and eat there and sit on my balcony. The pool, I mean, the pools at Wilderness, both pools at Wilderness Lodge are fantastic. Yeah. Like, even the, the the Boulder Ridge one is great. I feel like far more often than not, when somebody's saying that I'm, I'm, I'm going to Disney World, I'm like, oh, and they say, oh, what hotel are you staying at? And they say this. You know, at least half the time I go, oh, that's a great place. You're going to love yeah. such and such. You know, there, isn't very, there aren't very many times where I'm like, ooh, you didn't make a great choice there. All Star Sports. <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. We did it. We leveled them all. Yeah, I guess we can end the show. Oh, Nick, I forgot. What? We never used the last Corliss tool. Oh, let's see what it is. The last Corliss tool. I'm excited. Then you. <laughs> oh, toodles. toodles. No, I think. What? Oh, no. <laughs> toodles. It's the scariest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> toodles, where's the last? You have the last mask of tool. I gave it to Nick earlier. Oh, you did? And he yes. forgot the bit. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh -oh. He said he knew exactly I, what to do with I that. I think I can find a good use for this. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's not it's you know, it's in his trunk. He's like testing it. Can I, can I, I hope your coworkers are watching. Yeah. There you go. Wow. I'm gonna have to clear up some paperwork tomorrow at the office. <laughs> and you thought the mystery I've been watching the John Wayne Gacy tape, so I'm gonna have to leave. That worked really good, yeah. Hey, before this gets out of hand, I'm gonna end the show. 
Everybody get to him. God damn it, Toodles. <laughs> no, get out of here. Toodles. Go away. And remember, kids, welcome home. Good night. <laughs> no. <laughs> no.